Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in. Hope you're all doing great. Pat, hey there. Hope you had a nice weekend. Did you do something special? Um, thought you weren't streaming for three weeks. Yeah, that is that is after today. Uh, today will be our last stream for three weeks. Um, I do have three videos, I think. Yeah, I have three Medieval Dynasty videos ready that are... Sorry, I'm, I'm sitting on a pillow and that's super weird. Um, there we go. I think that's better. Um, yeah, I think I have three Medieval Dynasty videos ready for release. So there will be one today, one next week, one the week after. And that doesn't quite cover it, does it? Yeah. So videos on the 24th, the 1st, and the 8th. I don't have one ready for the 15th, but then I think we're going to be streaming on the 16th. So there will be some content every week, at the very least. Um, yeah, let me think. Did I do... Oh, I didn't get to play tabletops over the weekend. That's usually on Saturdays. But this week instead I got to meet a, a friend of mine who I hadn't seen since 2015 or 2016. Been a long time coming. Uh, very nice to, to reunite again. Um, yeah, had a nice meeting. Hope you all had a nice weekend too. Um, we are... we've never played this on stream. And actually I wonder how much playtime I actually have. I have over a hundred hours in this game? I did not know that. I do see hearts flying. Did Dilly arrive? Um, you know what? I'm gonna send some hearts too. Oh, nope, that's a hundred. There we go, there are hearts. Um, yeah, apparently I've got over a hundred hours in Fallout 76, which I did not expect at all. I would have, um, expected about 30 hours. Apparently I played it much more than I knew. No long talk content for weeks, inconceivable. Um, Dilly Cut, welcome on in. Well, I did just say I have, um, three Medieval Dynasty videos, um, pre-recorded. So one will be going online this Wednesday, then one next week Wednesday, and another one the week after Wednesday. Uh, no video <clears throat> on the fourth Wednesday, Wednesday, but then on the Thursday, so just one day after, we should be streaming again. So, there will be a little bit of content every week, I think. You heard it. Very good. Very good. Um, yeah. So... I did not really stay up to date with Fallout 76. I have no idea what changed. But I noticed that a lot of people were playing it recently. And that made me want to try it for myself again. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Just complaining. That sounds about right then. Um, what a game to leave us off on too. Let's do this. You love Fallout? I love Fallout too. Um, I think... I don't know. Like, when I was playing it, I definitely had fun with Fallout 76. Um, but I kind of missed things like, you know, having a companion and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, Dine Chat. Quick, about to load up and have... Damn, that heart always being in the way. Um, have to plunk you with all my daka daka. <laughs> um... Maybe, if you can find me. I don't actually know how it works, and I'm, I'm planning on creating a new character. Because, well, let's just quickly jump in. This is the game. Uh, I do have a character that's like level 50-something, 50 58, but I don't remember anything. I have no idea what I was doing in this. Um, so I think we're just gonna create a new new character and see, you know, if the start has changed at all. See what's what. There is currently a limited, I think today's the last day where you can grab Fallout first for free for like, I don't know how long it lasts, but I grabbed it. I um, think we get a little bit of bonuses here and there with Fallout first. Once you leave the vault, you can choose to be level 20. Oh, interesting. Interesting, I didn't know that. Maybe we'll do that. Just cut out some of the leveling time. Name Longclaw. Abandons <laughs> for three weeks. 
Fallout New Vegas will always be my favorite. New Vegas was excellent. I love the um, Old World Blues DLC as well. Absolutely fantastic. Top quality writing. Oh, abandons Pat for three weeks. Pat, I, I abandon all of you, not just you War. as a singular. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Really nice intro, isn't it? I quite like the video. Uh, Dying Chat, did you miss something? Yes, my parents are arriving on Wednesday. Um, and I'll be accompanying them on their trip through Korea. So I'll not be streaming for three weeks. Today is our last stream before before they come. I hope you all enjoyed the party. You excited? So am I. Even those who may have You're the one that matters most to you? Well, understandable. <laughs> vault 76 party. Well, there was a party. There was a party for everyone who's leaving the, vault, the vault. And apparently we overslept. Or we partied too hard. And were hungover. And then everyone just left without us. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go too deep into... Are there... Is there no randomizing? Uh, maybe we'll just go for this one. This one? Make it bald. A little rounder and call it good enough. You demand photos that don't dox the family. I'll try to remember dying chat. I'm terribly bad at at taking pictures, but I will try. I promise. Ball ding. How about that? <laughs> no, I think I would I would rather have proper bald. Um, is there no bald boot camp? Maybe boot camp would like uh, would would work. Um. So nothing that's completely bald. I don't see it. So I think we'll go for boot camp. Just have it like super super short. Close enough. You wonder why the game is bad in China? What could possibly be the reason, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to have that a little. Um, rounder and yeah, that's more like it ah no sure like that the nose how do you make it smaller mouse wheel to slide ah nope nope not what i wanted wait what how do i make it
Oh my god. What am I doing with this nose? Uh, I'm trying to make this go back in, but it, it doesn't go back in. Long white cheeks, claw. Yep, that's what it is. Why can I not make the nose go back in? I, I look like a... Like a bird. Escape to cancel. Okay, yeah, let's try that again. You know, maybe the nose isn't... Let, let's just leave the nose. It's fine. Uh, the one looked like the brother in the Fallout TV show? Yes, a little. He had a gigantic nose, doesn't he? Can you join me? I'm gonna mostly be playing alone, Linky, but thank you for asking. Welcome on in, by the way. Stuck with the nose. No, I could, like, make it not have happened. Uh, you know what? I think I'm good enough with that. We're gonna be playing in first person anyway, so we're not gonna see it much. Uh, for the body... Uh, how do I... Can I not rotate? I think, you know, a little bit on the larger side. Something like that, maybe. Close enough, close enough. <laughs> Vulture nose McGee. Um, no makeup, no markings, no blemishes, no damage, no grime, I think. I like the face as it is. Um, ah, nope. Enter to be done. We need to name it. Do we just call it Longclaw? Longclaw 8, maybe? Because I think Longclaw is my other character. Just looked it up and it appears it was not banned in China. Well, look at them. Um, yeah, we'll just go with Longclaw 8. And we need to take a picture. Yeah. Where did the character go? There he is. Sure, you know what? I don't care much. Yeah, you look into the camera. Very good. And... Capture exit. Alright, I think we're all set. <laughs> Long call 76. Uh, do we have to take anything here? I kind of forgot. There's an alarm clock. We can ring it. We can turn off the lamp. Man, if it just, you know, these are perfect weapons. Why can't we take them? We could play the acoustic guitar. A Pikachu looking owl. Terminal. Let's take a look at the per terminal. Happy Reclamation Day. Today's the day, everyone. Reclamation Day. We've been preparing for this moment for 25 years. We are ready. You're ready. America is waiting for us, so let's get out there. I'm invited. Countdown to Reclamation Day. Starts at 10 p.m. to midnight. Open the remaining liquor rations and the official vault -Tec party hats. The overseer will give a speech at 10 minutes to midnight and will lead the countdown. And there's a holotape. Oh, that's a game. Apparently there's a minigame. Not even a smile. I don't know how to smile, Pat. We don't have much to smile about. We're the only one left in the vault. Yep, feel free to like the stream. I would like that. Get ready to serve. Okay, how do I do that? Yeah, oops. <laughs> I immediately lost the game. All right, let's try that again. This is a strange game. I don't think we're going to be playing that long. Oh, and we have to we have to catch the empty glasses too. Yeah, let's let's get out of here, shall we? Quit the game. Yes. We can eject the holo tape in case we want to play it again. Speaking of midnight, both kitties are joining you for tonight's stream. That's wonderful. Although there's no mouse cursor on the screen, that's easily vis visible. So maybe they're not going to enjoy any hunting today. Could you use the television. Proceed to exit. All right, looks like that is what we're going to have to do. I think we'll just have to go. Ah, oh, look, it's one of the horse things. I forgot the name. Someone rem remember the name? G giddy up? Some things? 
You think with all your gas station simulator experience, you would be better at that game? You would think so. Don't forget to pick up your Pip Boy. Where? Where? Oh. Right there. Where the marker is. Giddy up buttercups. That's the one. Didn't get the chance to play this one before your computer stopped working. It does look good graphics-wise. I think so, too. Alright, look at that. Everyone is done partying, but no one is left. Do I have mail? Don't have mail. We can go third person, but I usually like first person. Um, and I think... Yeah, we just follow the... Follow the cutouts. Oh, hey, Prutchley. Hello. At last. Today is your reclamation day. Voices might be a little quiet. Just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Excellent. Adventure and opportunity awaits you, sir. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best Good to know. Cracking. All right, I, I think the voices seemed a little bit quiet. How exciting. Z for menu. Let's go ahead and change the audio settings a little. You look like an escaped convict. Kind of weird in the game, too. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, voice, I'm gonna increase. Say, your room could do with some tidying. I think I like that better. So Let's give that a go. Look at all of the balloons. Can we pop them? <sighs> I can't even carry one. Stay hydrated. Alright, give me some purified Stay water hydrated. and some red X. Uh, we'll just see if we find any loot on our way out, yeah? There's a stim pack and a right away. A bunch of building supplies, I'll take that. Anything over here? No, I would like to take a party hat, please. Said voice chat to push to talk or you will be talking to everyone around you in the game. Thank you. That is an excellent, excellent point. Uh, voice chat mode. I guess auto, but... No, push to talk is on. Push to talk is on. Um, just so that I know... What button is push to talk on? On caps lock? Is there something on V? Nothing is on V. Let's do push, push to talk on V. I think that's a more convenient location. Who puts a button on caps lock? That is so strange. Don't tell him. It will be funny. <laughs> no, thank you for telling me. And there's the party hat. Oh, I failed to equip it. Let's go ahead and do that. What do I look like? Oh, no. You know what was on V? First and third person. Yeah. Okay, so we got that back. Uh, then we're back to the question, where do I put my push to talk? Damn it. Keep clicking all of the wrong things. Controls, please. Mouse 3 is very awkward. N? Is that better than... Caps lock? I'll try it. I'll probably forget it anyway. Alright, uh, so they are pointing out there. Is there anything over here? The Overseer's Terminal. There are some reports. 
25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and begin a process called reclamation. Specifics will be disseminated automatically as that time approaches. After Reclamation Day, you're personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silo codes, uh, silos codenamed Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, ensure no one except vault can access or launch nuclear ordnance. To be clear, even if there are other authorities, whether government, militia, or otherwise, their claims are to be ignored. vault alone maintains jurisdiction. Parameters. Congratulations, Overseer. Vault 76 is one of the most important projects that vault has completed. No expense has been spared on building, staffing, and selecting the inhabitants of the vault. The cream, the cream of the crop of America have been chosen, including luminaries from vault University. The special classes and instruction you've received about managing a vault do not apply to this assignment. Vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see to the livelihood and well-being of all your residents and make sure they're ready to colonize America once the all-clear is received. It is to be expected you will face challenges we haven't prepared you for. Adapt, learn, and thrive. America is counting on you. T for talk. Sorry, I'm looking at my keyboard here. Um, I'll try N for now. I'm not really planning to talk to anyone, but thank you for the input. Put you in control of push to talk? No. Hey, Luxray. Uh, operation procedures. Day-to-day -day duties. Your job, as the over your job as the overseer is to see to the overall health and safety of Vault 76. Avoid loss of life at all costs. The Vault residents have been carefully chosen for the unique skills and temperament. Due to the aptitude of the Vault residents, you may be presented with unique challenges in maintaining order. As a last resort, each domicile can be locked down and the residents imprisoned for any duration you deem appropriate. Enforced solitary confinement can lead to psychological issues, so factor that in. Although the vault doors cannot be opened from the inside, keep the entry clear of all unauthorized RICE personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amended entry period and will be armed solely with non-lethal devices. If America is to be rebuilt, every life in this vault is special, preserve them all. And there is a mandatory shutdown. Our studies have shown, even after a relatively short duration of living with the amenities of vault -Tac, that test subjects can grow to depend on them. That will not do for Vault 76. After the all clear message is received, Vault 76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours. Air circulation will cease last and you should warn the vault residents that staying inside the vault can be lethal. Everyone must leave the nest it's imperative that all residents are focused on the important job of rebuilding America. Why am I still in here then? <clears throat> um, there's some archived files. Reclamation day has arrived. We counted down to midnight. I haven't seen everyone cheer like that since vault baby number one was born. I called lights out a couple hours ago, had to get security to help a few people to their beds. Then the volunteers and I got all the standees set up just like we practiced. Need to make the final recordings and then it will be time to head out that door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on their way, but I know they'll make me proud. As instructed, we set up the survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from 76 as soon as the doors open. We have no information about what awaits us. vault -Tac says we're America's best hope. Now we will find out. There was a review in 2100. Where did everyone else go? Um, I think we were just hung over from the party, so we woke up last. Everyone else is just gone. Left me behind. Yeah, that's just the name, Dying Chat. Yep, Vault Baby 1. You overslept? I think so. What is my unique skill? <laughs> Missing the wake-up call? Hey, someone has to have the genes for sleeping well, right? Even in most dire circumstances. Shedface and overslept, yes. Uh, all right, I think this is the second to last entry we need to read. Another year down, our mission continues. Top issues. At current count, six residents are under disciplinary lockdown. Uh, that's up from four last year. The morale officer has managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever, but tensions are high. 
It is generally pretty easy to maintain order, the pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least, but competence sometimes means arrogance. And arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with demand. I've been loath to institute mandatory rationing, but in 20, 2101 that may be necessary. 76 is full to bursting with people more than we anticipated. All right, uh, the award ceremonies are a great way of stroking the most hardened egos since everyone's so damn competitive. The low point was someone losing a tooth in a fight over the best dental hygiene award. The senior staff has been exemplary as always, very dependable and loyal. It's been a struggle to keep our overachievers pla placated, but another year down and we're still here. The Vault 76 World Cup has proven to be a huge hit. The ball damn near broke the jukebox, but the energy in the atrium was just amazing. Oh, sorry, there were deleted files too. No files found. I guess they're deleted. Let's play the holotape and take it with us. Apple app. Sha. Alright, let me see if there are subtitles, because I think that might be too quiet. Hmm, display? General subtitles, let's turn them on. Rules with an iron fist. I was not actually the overseer. I was just a resident in the vault. You lock people up with nothing to do. They will fuck. That, that, is, that is correct. Um, oh, okay. We can listen to it on the... On this thing. Overseer's log. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Overseer's log. Or should I say direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and... I've decided to break protocol to tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. It blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. What are we thinking about the um, voice audio? Can you guys hear it? I feel like for me it's quiet, so it might be even quieter for you. Uh, you hope I find the holotape with the Oregon Trail. <laughs> the last one here, I'm the overseer now. Well, apparently the vault will cease to function 24 hours after the doors open. So I would be a very short-lived overseer. Barely, fine for you. Very soft, but you're fine with it. You read subs all the time. You heard it fine. Alright. Um, I think for my own enjoyment, I will just increase the, the voice by another step. But I'm actually wondering if that counted as a Pip-Boy radio, and that's why it was so quiet. I put Pip-Boy radio up by one, two. That should hopefully help with understanding. But thank you for the feedback, guys. Uh, there's a security terminal we can try to hack. Oh god, I have to use my brains here. Likeness 1. That is too similar. Home 0. Does has 1. Nope. So, home has 1, but it's not the O. Hazy could be it. Nope. So, we only have one try left. Ah, because... No, never mind. Uh, what we can do 
is uh, we can try to find these things. They remove dots, but they also um, they can reset your your tries. There's one. There we go. Tries reset. Uh, that should be much easier now. But maybe we quickly remove a few dots. Oops. Just so they that I don't make that many mistakes anymore. There's another one. I think that might have been it. Don't forget to use the matching symbols. Yep, thank you. Don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to harvest your heart. Well, thank you, Pat. That is so... Um, I don't know. Romantic? So, Home and Hazy both had a likeness of one. And they share the... H. Holy would be two with home though, so that can't be it. Um, home, hazy, that one could be it. Nope. Base care, maybe? Oh my god. Am I gonna fuck this up? Um, there's so many similar ones. Game? No, I got one left. It could be make. There we go. Make? Thank you, Dying Chat. Yes. Yeah, that was the one. Seems like Pat was one of those cannibals the security was talking about. Yes. Uh, let's see. Security instructions. <clears throat> vault 76 is one of the most highly valuable and important vaults in our network. As such, these orders must be obeyed at all costs. The future of America is at stake. Upon receiving the activation notice, your team is authorized to use lethal force. Any obstacle or threat that stands between between you and getting vault residents safely inside the vault must be dealt with decisively. Only authorized residents are allowed inside. All other personnel should be considered enemy combatants. The overseer has special instruction after the activation notice. As soon as the entry procedures are complete, your team must stow all weapons in the specified containers. Further orders will then be dispensed. Trust your overseer, obey your overseer. Know that each and every member of your team was selected specifically for this assignment because of vault faith in you. If you work together, you will succeed. There are some incident reports. That's too much reading. Security logs. Final entry. 25 years of service, no K KIAs, and one hell of a send-off. I made one last plea to arm the resis before we open denied. My solemn hope is generations from now, visitors will come to 76 and read this and know how dedicated their forefathers were. How we redrew America from the ashes. But I must admit, I'm afraid as well. If some of the experiments in the other vaults go wrong, it can give you nightmares. And that's only the things we know about. If we can only stick together, work together, I think we stand a chance. The game is set in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I actually don't know where. West Virginia, yes. Keeping a lid on it. Had to lock down Casey for blabbing about the activation notice. The cat's already out of the bag, but orders are orders. Procedure is re announced tomorrow, but you can feel the excitement. The team keeps asking what to expect out there. The nukes knocked out our external sensors, so we are blind. Only the secondary Geiger counters are operational. Scuttlebutt gone wild. Lots of whispering of who's grouping up with who after reclamation. I worry that the biggest threat to the project isn't any threat we'll face out there, it's from within. The Rezis are a formidable lot, but give them free reign and lord help us. Last message before we go out. Team tore through the activation notice checklist. Logs wiped, non-essential gear secured, reclamation packages acquired. The whole procedure went down in record time like we've been practicing for years. Some grumbling about unleashing the Rezis without the overseer keeping them in check, but overall a good performance. Very good. Let's get out there. Nice, Pat. Hope you brought an appetite. Um, I don't think there's any other loot, honestly. Let's just go out. Goodbye. Aloha. Ciao. Arrivederci. Au revoir. Auf Himmelfeld. Fire for wheels. When we are here. Very good. They even added German to it. That doesn't sound good, doesn't it? Alright, pick a special loadout. We can either be a fresh dweller, 
um, leaving at level 2, or we become a battle-ready dweller. Uh, leave at level 20 with a special loadout of their choice, they are prepared to jump into more difficult content. Let's do that. We don't need to do the very, very basic stuff. Well, I don't know, chat. What are you interested in? Would you prefer me going with a completely fresh loadout or like a little bit advanced? I'm actually, I'm open to both. I'm just, I'm a little worried that a lot of people have played through the beginning and might might feel bored if we do the same stuff again. You pick level 2 and it sucks. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright. Let, let's just go to level 20 then. Depends if I need to warm up. I'm, I'm always ready for Fallout. Have to slow grind with no fun skills. All right, all right. Let's 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 do this. And what kind of weapons are we going to go for? We could go with a slugger for two-handed melee. All right, chat. Melee or ranged? Let's, let's talk about that first. I'm not going to go heavily VATS um, focused, but melee or range. Battle ready. Let's be honest, you need the help. Fair. Luxury votes ranged. DC votes ranged. I've never done a, a full melee playthrough in Fallout 4. That's always something I wanted to do. But I'm good with ranged. So we could either go with a gunslinger for pistols. Slow firing weapons that pack a mean punch. Commando for automatic rifles. Uh, automatic weapons to engage enemies from a distance. There's shotguns. I'm usually not a big shotgun fan. Bursts of damage from close range. Um, I, I actually think I'm gonna go for the gunslinger. That sounds fun. Fists only cut? Nope. Rifles? I don't see rifles. Like, I guess automatic rifles? But I usually... Like, if you think, you know, stealth archer, that would be like a sniper rifle, right? Shotgun is your pick, as you just have to get close and you have shit aim. We've all seen your Sony's to die playthrough. It will be so different in a different game, Dying Chat. Believe. Melee and Fallout 4 is super fun. I've heard that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try the gunslinger. Confirm selected special loadout. Oh, we can view the perks actually. So, we got reducing the weight of chems, more range and accuracy with pistols, can target limbs with vats, benefits from eating well, um, take less damage alone and regain more AP, Stimpaks heal better, that's pretty good, non-automatic pistols deal more damage, accuracy and crippling chance. Faster AP regeneration. At low health, a chance to avoid damage. That's pretty good. And chance to find extra ammo. Okay, that's pretty good. How does that compare to the commando? Is that... I'm actually mostly interested. Is this only automatic? Um, automatic rifles. Yeah, this seems to be automatic focus. I don't usually like automatic rifles that much. I'll go with the pistols. The extra ammo likely won't be needed as they change the way ammo find chance works. Interesting. Still, I like having extra ammo. If nothing else, we can sell it, right? Challenge com complete. Reach level 4. Go us. Shoddy is good. I'm Usually in most games, I don't enjoy shotguns that much. All right, let me quickly go into our inventory. Um, how do you see for favorites? Isn't there a way of... I said only oh yeah how do you do that how do you how do you select what's where it 
Is that not a thing? How do I choose where on the wheel that's supposed to go? I'm as likely to use a shoddy as I am to play an elf, which is only going to happen when all hell freezes over and Thanos has snapped the dwarves away. Yes, exactly, Dineshed. I don't get to pick, that is so weird. Who made that decision? That is so strange. Okay, we got a 10 mil pistol with 115 shots. We got a revolver with 511 shots. Uh, we got a full leather equipment. Did they take my party hat away? No, there it is, good. Uh, what does the backpack do? 15 carry weight, very good. We have some food and drink. Um, Stimpack is favorited. That's very good. You know what? I'm gonna favorite right away as well if I stop clicking the wrong buttons. And I think that's good enough. We've got plans for making revolvers and backpacks. Don't think we'll need that. Starting with, um, with some junk. That's very good. Alright, yep, I like it. You just favorite it. That's weird. You made the decision, damn it, Dilly. Why do you have to keep making those? Uh, we can change a player icon. I, I don't care. Alright, so we have two pistols. The first one is the 10 mil. And then we got the revolver as well. We're gonna, since we have a lot of ammo for the roll, for the revolver, we're gonna focus on this a little. Todd made the decision. He said it just works. It does just work. And, and a foot in it. Good. Learn the plans. Oh, it's something you need to use. Thank you. Why is F not use? Is it E? Yes, E is use. Bethesda, with decisions, is other bread and butter. True. Hey, Pennington. Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Uh, any idea what those two are doing up here? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Alright, yep, yeah, I'm sure. I'll... Let's ask about the overseer and then we'll go talk to them. Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. What do you mean it was some time? Shouldn't that have happened within the last 24 hours? Oh, do be careful out there, sir. Thank you, Luxray. Have a nice time. See you in three weeks. All right, so we need to talk to a lady called Lacey. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe... Oh. Wait. A vault dweller? I'll take all of that. Look, there's a shotgun. Can we favorite the shotgun as well? Please and thank you. We got... Uh, we don't have ammo for it. Still press the wrong button. Um, C for favoriting. And let's go ahead and talk with them. NPCs getting up. Are you? Seem to be standing. Hey, Lacey. Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought I it was did. empty. Wait, is the door still open? Uh, what's he interested in the vault? My partner and I need a way into that vault. We got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps. And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. I did find a shotgun, yep. It's level 35, can't use it. Ah, thank you. They, they do see me in a vault suit, yep. 
very true. Uh, the big one? What are you talking about? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. There's a treasure out well, here? Yeah, there was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. It sounds like you made a stupid mistake. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Sure thing. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? <laughs> I have to pick one bad. <laughs> nice, I like it. Um tell me about the area. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The Scorched. The Merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. Oh, what's the world like? We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. All right, cool. Thank you. Watch yourself out there. I will. So we have to visit the Way Ward, which is all the way down there. Um. There's a person called Lane we can talk to. And maybe we'll just we'll just kill stuff along the way. Gonna make make you play wanna play it again? That's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh wait, which one is it? Yeah. Sorry, it took me a moment um to, to get the gun out. So that was okay shooting. I got I got a headshot in there. Don't know if you saw that. And I only took a little bit of damage, but apparently you have to like pay attention to your surroundings in this game. Hope it turns into a missing 411 episode. I don't know what that means, I'm sorry. That was a miss. Oh, come on, don't stop that. Ah, where did you come from? Yeah. Do these ladies fight with me? Just, just switch weapons. I'm gonna have to practice my shooting, definitely. But we'll get there, we'll get there. I only took like, you know, only lost a fifth of my health up to now. <laughs> hey Charmander, welcome on in. Um, It's free if you have Twitch Prime right now. Oh, is it? It's also, I'm fairly certain, on um, Xbox Game Pass. I, I think, anyway. That's a settler. Let's go ahead and talk to the settler. Settlers are friendly, right? Are settlers like me? Did they just come out of the vault? What's that over there? What's what over where? Well, thank you for the gas, good sir. Wait, wait, wait. I hear... Yeah. I was thinking I heard some, some ghouls. Shame you didn't have a shotgun. That's a good point. Um, there's a lot of cases of miss missing people in national parks and a tar... A ton one, yeah. now the, the Appalachians that are pretty wild. Oh, okay. Finally caught a live stream. Yes, and we're only really getting started now. Um, everything up to now was kind of, you know, intro. But I'm just busy over here taking all of this guy's caps away, because he doesn't need them, right? He's just an NPC in my world. Hello, settler. Do you have anything else I can take? Yep, thank you for your medicine, your ammo, your alcohol. 
and Morphia ammo. You weren't planning on using that, right? Good. Good man. Oh, hey, Pisces. Welcome on in. Uh, you own it when it launched from Bethesda Launcher, but you might have to get it again on Steam. Wait, can they take oh, it away from you? All out of water. Gun looks like... Looks mighty close to your face. This one? I don't... I don't... Uh, I don't know. This one here seems very thick. How far are you into this game? Oh, we are just starting. Super. We created a new character. This is completely new. Um, we did choose the option of starting at level 20, though. It's the beginning of the game. Yep. Is that Walter White? Well, let's find out. Let, let's ask him if he wants to cook. Gotta keep a lookout for raiders. Oh, that you don't actually talk with us. Well, thank you for your equipment. Mm. I appreciate that. It's just about time to eat. Should we go ahead and explore? Let's speak to Lane. What, whoever that is. We'll toggle this one active. That's the closest quest we have here. Let's go talk to Lane. It's thick <laughs> with two C's. Nice, as it should be. Item reward, load out icons. Cool. I do not remember a lane. But, you know. It's been a long, long time since I played it. Are you all dead? There are dead rat stacks over here. Maybe someone came to hunt them. I like the music. It's nice background music. Can you adjust the point of view? Uh, I mean, you can go into third person. You up it to 85 to 90. Uh, let's take a look. I never change stuff like that. Um, this one here, field of view. Let's try 90. Yeah, that's not bad. A little bit of a bigger screen. Lane is part of the dailies. Feel of you. Um. R right, that, that was it, right? Yeah, that's the one I changed. Should be okay, I think. Oh, there's a dead res responder. Oops. Gun looks a bit farther from the face now. Is that a good thing? Hope it's a good thing. There's a workbench. Ooh, some loot. I like loot. I'm gonna be overloaded in no time, guys. Ooh, footlocker. We practiced this when we were playing, um... What's the name? Gas station simulator. Look at there's so many dead people. Lumberjack Project John works all night and also works all day. Responders, want to help? Need aid? Stand together. Rebuild America. Oh, look at that. We got a stash here. So we can transfer things we don't want to carry around without building our camp. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to junk and... Oh, with T we can store all junk. That reduces our weight quite a bit. And I think what I'll go ahead and do is drop the pump action shotgun because it's level 35 and we can't use it yet. Right? That gives us just some more capacity. Sure, very good. It's one of the reasons you change it. That and more peripheral vision. Alright. Okay, I keep stealing a bunch of things here. Um, and then we'll talk with Lane. So many dead people around. Ooh, a lead pipe. That would be our first melee weapon, I think. To Addy. Adelaide, dear sister, I hope this letter finds you well. I hope it finds you at all. If not, then it's good therapy, I suppose, though small comfort. I have many regrets about how we parted, but I hope you and father will forgive me for my arrogance. 
I believed wholeheartedly that fighting those bandits was the right course of action. I saw you both as cowards unwilling to stand up for yourselves. A disastrous outlook. I should have joined you on that caravan while I had the chance. Instead, I lost my family and nearly lost my life. I've settled in well with the group here in Appalachia that call themselves the Responders. They're good people and they want to build a peaceful world like how, like how home used to be. I believe in their mission and thought it will be, and though it will be a long road, I think we will at least be able to carve out a little niche of civilization for ourselves. Because I regrettably have some combat experience, they are calling me a constable and asking me to keep the peace. I empathize with the mission, but I'm not a fan of the title. It's not who I want, who I am anymore, but I didn't want to protest, they've been so good to me. I hope that one day you and father will return to wherever that caravan has taken you, and I can show you the home we're building here. You don't have to stay, but maybe it will convince you that your brother's not such a bastard after all. That's too much to ask, then I apologize. Wishing you the best regardless, Lane. Okay, so Lane is still alive, uh, but it seems like everyone else from his group didn't make it. Oh no, there's also June. I bet you didn't know we stocked blowfly larva. It's a delicacy. All right, all right. so not everyone Some. is dead. Guess they didn't completely fuck it up. Well, this one is quite fucked up. Look at that. What happened to... What happened to your hip? Something there went terribly, terribly wrong. That looks very unhealthy. Maybe that is that is why you're dead. The game is made for loot goblins, a masterpiece. I already love it. The fact that this person can't write on the damn lines is bothering me, yet yeah, it was not the easiest to read. Put the soap back, Langla. We know damn well you never use soap in games. Here's the thing though. Soap. Okay. Soap can usually be used as a type of oil. Okay, and I'll, I, oil is a good thing. We are playing an American after all. We gotta collect all of the oil. Got himself into a right twist. Yes. Oh, there's a little more. Aluminium scrap, among other things. Okay, I'll put that away. Uh, quickly check the... They have, they're in very bad condition. I'll carry them for now. We might need or want to have a melee weapon on hand one of these days. All right, Lane. Hello there, stranger. Where did you come ambling in from? Uh, Vault 76. One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. Solved a lot of problems. And caused a lot of problems, from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem-solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. Sure. Can be anything oh, for you. Excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalachia's filling up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. Uh, a noble goal, I guess. Ball peen. Yep, that's the one. We don't collect oil, we just go on peacekeeping missions to places that harvest our oil. <laughs> A very odd name, to be sure. True. I like to think so. It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Now, there's a lot going on in this neck of the woods. More than I can tackle myself. You've got ferocious beasts roaming the forest. Creepy cult moving into the caves. And all manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand. And I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? Did you say you can pay? That sounds pretty good. Uh, sure, I'll help for the right price. I did say that you would be duly compensated. That much is only fair. Let's see what's going on today. A forest is a dangerous place. Not compared to other regions, mind you, but let's not lose sight of the facts. To make it safer for new settlements, we've been clearing out dangerous critters and using the meat to feed people in need. If you can go retrieve the meat from our traps, I will happily compensate you. That doesn't sound too hard. Sure. I appreciate your help. Stay safe out there. Alright, I like the thought of doing daily quests. 
because that probably means we can, you know, we can get right to to killing things instead of running around and talking to people and following a quest line. We'll just run up to things, shoot them, and take their meat. Sounds good? Sounds good. Who wants to pay you for your hand? You think he's a friend of Pat? <laughs> Must be. Although, you know, here's the thing. If they... Oh, that is someone's camp. Uh, if they both collect body parts, right? Oh, they might no, also be rivals. Oh, oh, no. Everyone appears to have died. This is Hey, look, we can just walk in. Error. Tier level. Doesn't seem like we can steal anything, sadly. But it's nice of them to give us access to, um, to all of the, you know, the workbenches and stuff. Hey, you! A slot machine. I'm gonna play the slots, guys. What happened? I feel lucky. Luck increased by two. For for how long? I thought I'm getting money. Don't give me a temporary uh, buff. Are not satisfied with your gift. This it's not unit perks. Is not authorized to make uh, no, not now. I, I just want to see... Your oh, here. For half an hour, luck plus two. Uh... Not what I was hoping for, but I guess it's okay. Nice of them to plant corn for us, though. Pack gets the organ slain is after the meat. I guess that works. I did get 15 caps back? Oh, I didn't see that. Thank you. Your stomach is making rumblings. Only your hand only your hand can satisfy. That is scary. Oh, yep, yeah, there is some of the meat. I kind of feel like we're gonna get attacked. There's some kind of... cabin over here. Let's check out the cabin. Is that another dead person? Ah, there's someone. Let's loot everything before they can loot it. This is my loot, you can have it. Ruben's safe key, a checklist. Distract him, stash the rest of the supplies, jump in the other crate, pray to god I survive, find anyone from 76, kill Zax. Well, the last part didn't seem to have worked. Um... Yeah, let me just quickly make sure that I'm stealing all of the loot before the other person can get it. And then we can think about the next quest part. Another ball peen hammer? Good. Alright, so there is supposed to be another meat trap. Maybe we get more money if we bring more meat back? So I'll quickly run there, collect it, and then we'll return to the quest giver. I'm not seeing any enemies over here. Which is interesting. Wall 76ers seem to be a hot commodity, yes. Hey Maxwell, uh, I'm doing good, thank you. I haven't played this game in a really long time, but I felt like Felt like getting back into it today. So here we are. Yeah. Ah. Took out two wolves. Look at that. That gives more meat and some money. Why is a wolf carrying money? Uh, was that it? Nope, there's another one over there. We'll focus on this quest first, yeah? Yeah, quick reminder to everyone who's here, thank you for coming by. Um, today is my last stream before my parents are coming. And I will not be streaming for about three weeks. So I think May... 
I think May 16 for me. Might be May 15 for you in the US or in the Americas. Uh, I think that should be our next stream. Uh, I do have... Um, I do have some Medieval Dynasty videos that should be going live every Wednesday. But yeah, I, I will not be going live during my, my parents' stay in, in Korea. They have not been to Korea before. They visited me when I was living in China. So they've been to Asia, but not in Korea. We collected all of the meat. Seems like we don't get another enemy spawn. So over we go. Sorry, Dilly. Yeah, everyone is very excited though. The nice thing is, um, so my, my sister has visited us in Korea before, and my parents were talking, of course, with my sister about the trip, and they really liked everything she was saying. So we are copying almost everything from the trip that my sister did, which means there was very little stuff that we needed to plan. Um, so very, very relaxed preparation for them coming here. I like that. By the way, I found a hatchet. That should probably be stronger than the lead pipe, right? Damage 17, damage 20. Not much better, but we'll take it. Both of them are medium speed. Hello, Lane. Stand. You're back. I am. Foster? You've recovered the meat from our traps. Just what I wanted to hear. On behalf of the responders, I can't thank you enough. You helped us make progress toward a more peaceful world. I sure wish I could say that's all the help I needed, but the work never ends. If you're in the neighborhood again sometime, I will always welcome more of your help. Day in the meantime, though. Here's your payment. Have a good day now. What are we getting? 15 coins? I don't think that's much in this world. It doesn't sound like much. Okay, that music is a little loud. Okay, I think I like that better. I'll transfer all of the junk that we have. Uh, I think I'll transfer both of the lead pipes. Oh no, actually, if we're going to that saloon or whatever, I guess we can sell them there. Uh, is a raider leg better le than a leather leg? 5 and 9, 5 and 2. No, but we're going to sell that one too. And the skirt we can also sell. Uh, you're very happy that Korean food has had a boost in popularity. Lots of Korean food places here now, and it's also good. I love it too. Yeah, they, they got really, really nice food. Um, which I think will be most one of the <laughs> one of the most exciting things for my parents. My parents, like me, are big fans of eating. And I, I think they're gonna enjoy the food here a lot. Alright, look at all of the alcohol I'm collecting. That's cool, we can sell that. Uh, it did say earlier that we have some some packs to open? How does that work again? Uh, is it R? No. Let me quickly try to figure that out. I was I was clicking random things earlier. Not an expedition. Not a challenge, I don't think. It's not in social. How do I open 
Atomic shop? No, I think that's where we buy... Yeah, that's where we buy stuff for real money. Like, you can buy the atoms and then buy stuff with the atoms. Um... Yeah, just earlier... It prompted me to open... Perk card packs. But I clicked it away because I was like, let's do that later. But now I can't find it anymore. Hello, ghoul. You're running like a madman. <laughs> Not a good shot. Okay, that one's good enough. Alright. Everyone's down. I'm... Oh. I did not press left click, I don't think. There was a free tag by the atomic shop. I think I claimed everything that was free, didn't I? Icons. Apparently there's free icons. Sure. We'll clap. Uh, we'll collect all of these. And I have a bunch of icons, apparently, that we could use. Let's just go with the uh, Gunslinger, because we're playing as a Gunslinger. Eh, we'll figure it out later. Dilly the Mothman is a local legend. In Point Pleasant. Where did you see the Mothman? Oh, there! Oh, it's actually there. You got a sharp eye, Dilly. Yeah. Let's just go to the to the quest marker. That is just across. We'll just follow the road, cross a bridge, and then we'll be there. That is a nice part of the lore over here. There are these, um... I forgot what this is called. They are not the Scorched, are they? The Scorched are the ones that are still alive. Just petrified corpses. Apparently they can have loot. I didn't know that. I am picking up some rats. That might be from interacting with the petrified corpses. Oh, teddy bear. I guess I will loot this place. We could drink from the sink, but the way that I know Fallout, we'll probably pick up rats if we do that. You know of the cryptid? Okay. Excited about it. I I don't think I've ever run into him when I was playing the game. A hunting rifle. That is something I like. Some bobby pins, that's good. Another shotgun. Hey Cheswick. Who are you? I mean you're Cheswick, we just learned that, but can we interact with you? Doesn't look like it. That's a bit sad. Is he in the game? Mothman? Yes. Yes, he is. Oh, there's another... Scorched. I'll, I have to work on my aim, okay? I'm, a, I'm aware of that. Revolver. We got we got better stuff than the pipe revolver. We don't really need to worry about that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I just I cannot leave loot behind. It doesn't work that way. 
sadly there's not much of value in here. We'll check out the trailer and then we'll move on. Torque rod ends. I remember that being a very heavy thing in Fallout 4. Don't know if it's also very heavy in this game. As if Fallout games got, could get any cooler. Also, please protect Cheswick at all costs. I don't know if we really get back here. Guess we'll find out. First of all, we want to go deal with that quest. What is that on that field? Oh, looks like part of an airplane. Yep. Interesting. I easily get distracted. I don't know if you noticed. Some people don't believe me when I say that. Nice, thank you for your crate. I find that very hard to believe that a, a crate right here on a bridge like that would not be looted. But I'm not complaining. Alright, this is it. This is where we're trying to go. We are... Ooh, someone in... What's that called? Um... Um... Power armor. vending machines but we'll go inside team only interior a private area that is unique to your character very good let's go in there this one still says level one i don't think we're level one anymore oh, and we can apparently just loot everything in here as well how much are we carrying a lot. We're Radio almost Radio overloaded. Radio, you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick. At this point, the gun me in my own bar is a terminal affliction. Look around. You think I'm having my people piece this place together out of mobile homes because I'm thrifty? Do I look like I know where this treasure is? Shut up! You got ten seconds to tell me where Crane is! Ten? Don't do this, Nine, son. eight, Fine. seven, Suit six, More. five, you busy dog? four, three, two... What? Mort? Thank you, Mort. Of course, Duchess. That's one way of dealing with problems. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Nice. Uh, you need the mod to make materials way less. This is not Fallout 4, sadly, cut. Um, I actually, when I play Fallout 4 these days, I mean, I haven't played it in quite a while, but I've started playing with um, junk not weighing anything. Can't be bothered to run back and forth and collect everything. Ooh, pepperoni roll. That sounds good. Thank you, Duchess. I'm trying to interact with you. Uh, can can we? Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First rounds on me. Name's That's... Duchess. There's something I could do for you. <sighs> um. Yeah, what was all that about? He said something about a treasure. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a bud in business. Um, 
Tell me about the Aryan. Not a whole hell of a lot. We only just got back here ourselves. A hundred years ago, before the bombs, this was a popular little highway between two of Appalachia's biggest cities, Morgantown up north and Charleston to the south. We set up here hoping it might relive that fate, but so far all we've gotten is trouble. The bummer. Um, are you looking for help dealing with the thugs? Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See, that boy we put down, he's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. I like hearing so, that. So, what do you say? Sure thing. How much are you paying? I like that. 50 caps if you can get the job done. Charisma, two or above. Make it 100 and we got a deal. 75's as high as I'll go. And for that kind of money, I expect to never hear from those boys again. Now, does that mean you're on the case? Sure, yep. Um, should I kill them? I don't care how you deal with them. Sweet talk, string up their leader by his ears. Hell, buy them all ice cream sandwiches. Whatever you can do to get them to stop harassing us is fine by me. I'll do it. That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? I'm wondering if we get bonus experience if we do the challenges, I guess I'll call them. Like, you know, we need intelligence two and above for this one. Let's just go for that one. You want me to pretend to be Crane, don't you? And we'll pay attention whether or not we get XP. Well, aren't you a smart company? Doesn't look like it. And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. They got the geography wrong. Charleston to Morgantown is in a different direction. Interesting. Uh, okay, I think I'll just... I just Sounds want stupid. you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Sure. Uh, I know how to build structures from schematics. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course you're gonna need materials. But we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. That's nice. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Maybe now, not. Pretty learning resistant. show on the road? Yep, let's do it. Hot Enough dog. talking. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point. But it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you. 
Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. Wait, so did the Overseer leave before Reclamation Day? Because they keep talking about it as if, you know, all of the Overseer stuff has been around for a really, really long time. But we should have just left, right? They nuked it so hard, it moved the cities. Maybe, maybe they got Patrick to help. Why don't we just take the city and push it over there? The nearest nuke would have been in DC. No one is wasting nukes on West Virginia. That's a fair point, I guess. Uh, are we overloaded now? Yes. What does that? What does it do to us? Over encumbered, running drains, AP. Okay, not too bad. Uh, I think what we're gonna do first is go out, listen to the camp log. We'll need to read the schematic thing. A cigarette machine. Nice. Recipe. And this. And then we need to build it at the camp, right? Um, yeah. Okay, we'll do that first and then we'll set up our own camp. I think we talked about that a little bit ago, but I would really, really like to play a tabletop in a Fallout setting. I think I would like that a lot. I think I might try finding something like that in the States, or maybe set it up myself. I might have to run, run a game myself. I think this one is the camp she was talking about. There's a whole lot of food and stuff in here as well. Uh, weapons workbench? Let's go ahead and scrap some stuff. Oh, right, I wanted to trade with the woman. All right, let me quickly transfer all of my trash into here. I'll also... No, I, I think we'll just sell... We'll just sell excess of food and drink. Overseer's cash is empty. Where's the Overseer Camp log? Oh, we are carrying it. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? And no people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. Hey. I've left my camp behind so you can <laughs> no. use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. Alright, there we go. She's done talking. You're talking about that one? Is that the 2D20 system? Um. I haven't played it, but I've heard from a bunch of people that they didn't enjoy playing that one. Um, I'd be open to trying it, but from what I've heard, it's it's not not as not a great system. 
But again, I haven't personally played it. Alright, uh, Duchess, I would like to trade with you. Let's quickly see here what we want to do. We don't need a second 10 mil pistol, I don't think. Um, I'll just sell it. We'll sell... I'll sell the baseball grenade. Um, maybe it's better to go one thingy at a time. Sell the pipe things, I'm not going to use that. Uh, throwing knives. I feel like I'm not going to use that. Yeah, let's sell those. Uh, we'll sell the armor that we're not going to use. In terms of apparel... Sell the ratty skirt. I don't think I'll wear the casual outfit either. And then, yeah, there's so much food. I have no idea what to do with all of that. I mean, some of this is good for crafting, I'm sure. But we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. I'll keep the water. And the rice and beans. But everything I'll just get rid of. Then we also don't carry... We're not carrying that much. Keep the medicine. And we'll sell the junk. Very good. Alright, let's go ahead and build a camp. It's been a while since I did that. So here's the nice thing about camps in Fallout 76. Um, you, you can always have your camp somewhere in the world, but you can move it, right? So, right now, we're going to be questing in this area, so it makes sense to set up a camp over here. Um, but later on, if you're moving on to a more high-level area, like down here or whatever, um, you can, you can just move the camp down there. I think it, it costs a few caps, but it's not super expensive. Um, wait, we have a, we have a quest to craft a piece of armor and a weapon? Apparently, how do I do that? Craft. What's the cheapest thing we can make? Five wood and a leather. Is there something cheaper? Did you go to the mini camp next to you that the oversight CEO set up? We we quickly stopped by there um, and dropped some things in the container, but that's it. All right, I'll just quickly make this. Did I? Okay, that one is made. And then we're supposed to also make an armor. We'll just see what's the cheapest one. Probably... Yeah, just a hat. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel Beret. And that should finish up a whole bunch of quests over here. There's a Brotherhood message. Let's go listen to the... There's an Overseer broadcast and a Brotherhood me message that we're supposed to listen to. Let's do that while we find a place for the camp. I'll be quiet for a moment. Broadcasting to the people of Vault 76. This is the Overseer. We need to talk face to face. I've missed all of you, but this isn't just about a reunion. We have work to do. I'll be waiting in Sutton. All right, that's done. There's some Brotherhood people here. Like. Must be a real hard ass to keep all these rough and tumble soldiers in line. I don't know when the, the Brotherhood arrived. Just beginning. Stay disciplined. Greeting, civilian. Okay. Yeah, we can talk with them. So we'll listen to the Attention, that one. People of Appalachia, this is Paladin Romani of the Brotherhood of Steel, broadcasting from Fort Atlas. Are no longer facing the wasteland alone. The Brotherhood has returned. Our 
mission is to help you lead a better, safer life free from the dangers left behind in the wake of the Great War. Or if you wish to join us in our mission, find us at Fort Atlas. A new dawn is here for Avalanche. Join us in building the future. Romani out. Alright, so the Brotherhood of Steel apparently has made their way into West Virginia. So we can join up with them, I guess? Yeah, no, no, no. Don't play it again. Good enough. Uh, where do we set up the camp, though? And how do you set up a camp? Move camp Z. We could just set it up here right outside of the entrance. I think I would like a little bit more of a flat area. Are you flatter up here? Not really with that hole. Maybe on the other side of that bridge there. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Because I think around... I, I think that's an okay place. Let's do that. Although it does look rather hilly over here. It does look flatter down there, doesn't it? Nope. Another dead person. Confessions of an addict. Uh, yeah. You can confess to someone else. I'll just take all of your stuff. Thank you for your sacrifice. Don't get you, the rads will. Hey there! You also looking for some treasure? Sure, do you know anything about the treasure? Flat area is a myth in West Virginia. I guess it is in the Appalachians. Um, sure, you know what, we're looking for treasure. Well, I guess it's your lucky day. I found this map, and I ain't got a clue about what it means. Do you want it? Is it free? Maybe you'll have better luck than I do. Happy digging. He actually just gives me that. Savage Divide Treasure Map Number One. Do we need to like? Let's read it. Well, once we find the Savage Divide, maybe we know what to do with that. You know what? That over there. That looks open and flat-ish enough. I'm gonna go there. Oh god. Oh god. Everything is hostile. Farmhands and ghouls over there. Excuse me? I'm not sure where I'm being shot at from. You know what, that was actually, that was decent shooting, if I say so myself. Was that it? We good now? I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and collect all of that. Leave no loot behind, right? Oh. Does sound like there's another... Um... Another robot somewhere. Yeah, I see it flying there. Oh, two of them actually. No! Stop missing! I don't think I don't think I'm doing the worst shooting I've ever done. Probably not the best either.
But I don't think I've I've got to be too ashamed here today. Some concrete and steel. More steel. I love looting, man. I'm so glad that the concept of just looting things is so common and widespread in games nowadays. Because looting is amazing. Looting and leveling up. Probably two of the most satisfying things for me. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of trees in the way, but I think that might be okay. I'll just place it here. Um, yeah, move camp right here. Why is it red? This works. Being shot at by little liberator robots. They're communist robots. We don't like them. They're against America. There's one more, no? Yep. There somewhere. Where are you? Ah! Got him. Very good. Alright, and then we're, we're just gonna set up a very, very basic camp. Um, I don't even really... remember anything. So this is the thing that we need to place down for the quest. Uh, we have everything we need, so why don't we just... build that? At like the edge of the of the area, good. Broadcast tape issued. Please deposit data tape into any relay system terminal. Target marked. And then, what do we need? We're gonna need. I think I got like prefabs for bases. So I would like to make it. Easy to set up. Um, what might that be? Structures. Yeah, let's let just put on a structure. I think that's going to be the easiest we can do. Um, oh, not all of these are unlocked. Q to toggle buildable ob objects. Cool. So I got like a bunker unlocked. I got... Like a destroyed plane? Unlocked? Let's build a plane base. Because why not? There's even this groove here. And I think this groove, you know, makes it believable that a, a plane crashed in there, right? This is gonna be our base. Selected item is floating. We'll make it not float. Put it on the ground. Selected item is floating. Oh, okay. Uh, it's right at the edge of the... of the base area, but I guess that works. Such a plain base. It is, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna put in a... Uh, a bed beautiful, isn't it? It's the most most cozy bed you've ever seen. We're gonna sleep in the corner over here. Uh, we're gonna put in water. Clean sink. That doesn't make much sense, but we'll put it there anyway. Maybe on the inside. Sure, I just, I figured out how to hook up clean water. Or maybe it's just the sink that's clean, not the water that comes out of it. Uh, don't need light. Don't need power. Do we need power? Maybe we need power for that. You know what, I'll just go ahead and put a medium generator down. Next to... Next to the plane thing. 
Yeah. Uh, defenses. Are we interested in putting down defenses right away? Turrets, maybe. Don't know if turrets need to be powered. But if we get attacked through this quest, I would like to have some firepower with me. So let's put turrets here and there. And then we'll put down the crafting things. So definitely... Definitely a place to cook. An armor workbench. It's a little awkward. Uh, can we move you? Yeah, move you here. Good. Because then maybe I can put that here and it will look a little bit more fitting. And for the weapons workbench, I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go with that. Hey, Ninja Girl, welcome on in. How are you today? Oh, we could put... Can we put a door in there? Doesn't look like we can fit a door in here. Which is a bit of a bummer. Alright. Um, I don't think we need anything else. Roofs, walls, floors, allies. Yeah, no. I, this is good enough of a camp. We got workstations. Oh, what I should build is a... A container. Where would that be in? Maybe in resources? No. It's not an appliance. Oh, stash boxes. There we go. And we'll have a regular stash box. And, like, right now, I've got Fallout first. So I guess I will also put in the this scrap box. But that's a limited deal, right? I didn't pay for Fallout first. I just got it because it's free right now. So that will probably not last very long. Finish your evening chores. All right. Uh, let's make sure that we scrap the board over here. And the beret. Not going to be wearing that. Um, our revolver uses 44. I don't think it will use the snub nose then, but what we can maybe do... Let's see if that works, if it's similar to Fallout 4. It's possible that I can take the... If we go to the 44, we take the scope off of it. Yeah, go back to standard sights. And now we should have a scope, right? Maybe we can put the scope... No, we cannot put a scope on this revolver. We can put a reflex sight on it. And I think I would... I, I, I like that. Put that on. Um, this actually has pretty good upgrades. So we don't need to do much. For the 10 mil... We need nuclear material for that. And we don't know... How to make other parts. We could make a long barrel for longer range. But I think for long range we're going to be using the revolver. Okay, yeah. Seems like we don't know how to make anything else. Um, we'll scrap the 44 revolver. How do you repair with T? Needs a repair kit. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to spend a repair kit for that. What I do want to do is put the... The hunting rifle... What did I just do? I took a rat away. Put the hunting rifle and the shotgun on, on, our, on our favorite's wheel. Because then... Yeah, we have quicker access to it. We have barely any ammo for it, though. So maybe we don't even want to carry it around. How much carrying capacity do we have? 90. Yeah, you know what? 
I'm gonna leave those behind for now. Both the hunting rifle and the shotgun. We don't have the ammo. Let's finally continue with some quests, shall we? Oh, what did we need to do here? I think maybe this does need to be powered up. Good. And then we need to load the broadcast tape into a radio tower. I don't think I've got a radio tower built, do I? What would that be under? Um, but is it possible that we are... Here. Okay, okay. Yeah, we got both of them marked on the map. Don't forget to like. Yes, thank you, Ninja Girl. That is a good reminder to everyone. And what do we have over there? Search the center. No, we're not going to do that. We'll quickly check for the traces of the Overseer, and then we'll go load the broadcast thing. We got 640 bullets for this one, and 102 for that. We're doing okay on ammo, I would say. Is that a ghoul? Someone dead. It is a ghoul, but a dead ghoul. Okay, I I'm not gonna go too deep into this... Um, into this camp, whatever that is. Because I'm just gonna want to loot everything again. And... I... Don't have that much carrying capacity. Let's unlock the... Whatever that is here on the minimap. There's also people in there, apparently. That's the responders building, it looks like. No, that's not where it points me to. Flatwoods. The city itself. Okay, good. But then we want to go... Oh, actually, is that inside here? In the church. A trading post. Not anymore, there are no people left. Hello? Let's play the Overseer's Log, Flatwoods. Overseer's Log, town of Flatwoods. My god. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but... Gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions. And its voice. Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than you imagine, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. There we go. That was, uh, the, the, the Overseer, she has a lot to say. Whenever there's a, a message, she talks for quite a bit. Um, so I'm just doing a... A deceased Radroach. 
Well, first she had a disease. Now she's diseased. Thanks to me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just collect anything that looks interesting Hi. here. Dasa oh. asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. My, name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the, the messed up people and the cows with two heads, all of it. I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and I put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and uh, put new Coca-Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. He sounds like an asshole. And, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. Because my dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things would happen. I haven't seen Patty since the bombs and I, I guess he left because of that too. It's okay. Uh, I'm trying to be good now though. I'm, I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I could help collect food and water, so I'm getting better, I promise. And um, Daddy. You're listening. I. I promise I won't be bad anymore. So. You can go. All right, that boy had some problems. That's for sure. Um. Yeah, but let, let's let's try to advance the story here a little. I didn't remember that there's so much like. Uh, you know, of the background story in the beginning. I, I kind of expected to drop in and start shooting things, but no. Let's go ahead and register as a volunteer over here. Um, that actually gives us some caps. I don't mind that. And we have to search for Kesha McDermott. Nope. Misclicked. Kesha McDermott is a researcher. Last lift in 3 Church Road. Let's see if we can find her. Also, there's a person with a dog. Should we quickly say hi? Let's quickly say hi. Hey, Heather. Tom was really nice before the war. Are you here for the responder training? Uh, I'm sure. Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here, too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? What gave it away? The vault suit I'm wearing? Uh, Perception 4+, plus. you got a good eye. What gave it away? To be honest, you really don't have the look and feel of someone who spent their life out here in the wilds. The other people I've met from Vault 76 seemed a little more... How to put it? Uh, Wide-eyed. Inexperienced, is still figuring things out, you know? They also tend to look healthier, more well-fed, and their skin's not so rough and calloused. Alright, see? So that, it just, that doesn't line up. It doesn't make sense to me. So if Reclamation Day just happened, right, all of us from that wall should have left on the same day, within, within a 24-hour time period. She's talking like, you know, oh, you know... All the people that I've met from Vault 76, where are they? Why is there not a single one of them around here? It's it's a bit strange. Uh, could you help me out? I need some supplies. Of course. I know how hard it can be out there. Cool. I'm you glad we talked to her. We're getting packs. free stuff. Here, you can have these. Give yourself an injection when you're hurt, and they'll heal you right up. Uh, what's with the responder outfit? I found it in one of the houses. It fits great and it's really comfortable and pretty durable too i'd also be lying if i said it didn't have some sentimental value for me i've admired the responders ever since i first heard about them what they stood for helping people no matter what that was really important 
All right, cool. No Thanks problem. for your time. Something fishy going on, right? Chloe's my pet. Doesn't feel or right. Maybe I'm hers. Uh, am I carrying too much? Sure. Yes. Let me quickly drop that off in the camp, and then we'll go. Oh. We also have to search for a woman called Kesha. I'll do that first. Is she dead? Of course she's dead. Because everyone who might have interesting things to say is dead. All responders. Mr. Phone hands are out of control. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Test a sample of water from Flatwoods Water Pumps. Is that over there? Nope. Over on the left. Yeah, so the event on the top right corner, um, those are things that you can do in a in a group and stuff. Uh, I'm not right now. I'm not really looking to do any group questing, so. I'll focus on the quote-unquote single-player stuff. What? Wait, what? Yeah, what are you? Mole rat. Seems to only have been one. Let's collect a water sample here. Is that it? Analyze the water testing kit's results in Kesha's lab. Alright. Quickly stop by the camp. Drop off everything we don't want to carry around. And then we go over. Should we cook up some of the... Like, we found some meat and stuff, right? How does that work? We could boil some water. We could make some mute, fr mute fruit juice. That might not be a bad idea. Do we get experience for that? We do. Alright. And then we can make grilled rat roach, grilled rat stag. Some iguana on a stick. Uh, mole rat chunks. And some mud chops. Oh, and some sugar, apparently. Four? I think we got way too much food. Oh, we, we did find some arrows. I'm gonna store them for now. that. Oh, we found a better hatchet. Let's definitely go ahead and change from this to that. And I think the rest of the things I can just go ahead and scrap. In weapons, we don't need this, we don't need that, or that, or that, or the walking cane, or the throwing knives. I'm just, I don't expect to use them. Alright, yeah, we now have about half of our carrying capacity. Let's go quest. Fallout is all about consumables, drugs, drugs, and more drugs. I don't tend to use drugs very much. Um, you know, maybe just because it is a consumable. Which means once I used it, I can use it, I cannot use it again, right? It goes against my mentality. We should probably heal ourselves up a little. Oh, what? How dare you? I just talked about heal healing and you come and attack me? Super rude. So, uh, yeah, do we... Does this heal? They do heal. 
Yeah, I'll just have some of that. Rice and beans. I'm glad I got the reflex sight on the revolver. Gonna go ahead and analyze the water samples here. Water type dirty, disease is severe. Water has not significantly improved since the last sample from the same coordinates. That's a bummer. Oh, damn it, now we need to boil water using dirty water and wood fuel. I just dropped all of that. But I guess we can collect some on the way back. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dasa Ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. I'm from Charleston originally, so it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flocked to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold. Their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor Stories. I'll start with me. I was an anthropology PhD student at Vault Tech University. Final year. I was printing my thesis when I heard the sirens. I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him, but only two reservations came through. I refused to go. With my brother, went to the vault could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I signed up right away. So hard. The flood. Relocating to Morgantown Airport and now Flatwoods has been... I, I remain optimistic. Been with them now for, uh, oh, I guess two years. We have big plans. Damn it. We can do so much to help. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, we can rebuild enough to help. I need to become a better shot. I will continue to record stories of survivors when I can. We are your history. This is Dasa Ben on me, signing off for now. There we go. That was a long one too. Uh, it, it is nice that they that they you know put in a lot of background stuff. Um, but you know, how am I supposed to talk if they talk the whole time? Anyway, we made it to the, um, to this tower, uh, where we are supposed to play a, this is very sensitive, uh, we're supposed to play a holotape, and I think that is supposed to lure that gang to our location so that we can kill them. So that's the next goal. I just wanted to do a quick bit of looting because, you know, just what I do. But let's go ahead and send that message. Load the broadcast holotape into here. Scorched detection communications. It's dormant. All right, never mind. Um, broadcast tape. Activate the transmitter. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast call. And now we need to return to camp. I think there's going to be a, a fight. Consumers. New business established. Please seek out. Friends. Treasure hunting. In order. 
I seem to do better when I don't F. Oh, aim down the sights. Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right about that. But it's fun to aim down the sights. Oh, and I, I never ended up really healing myself. I'll eat another one of these. Or maybe I just took took damage again. Oh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't heal much. That's part of the problem. Um, I'll eat an another two. Yeah, that will almost heal me back up. So we return to camp, we're gonna have some fighting on our hands. And then after the fighting we also have to boil water for the first things first quest. I don't know how many enemies to expect. But I'm sure we'll be able to deal with them. We do have stem packs, 38 of them, yeah, if we need healing, we can always take one of those. If the scorched or the ferals don't get you, the rads will. This is pointing me in this direction. Maybe there is a cooking place where we can boil up the water. Then we can get that done um, before fighting whoever is coming. Yeah, craft some boiled water, please. And I think I'm once again potentially carrying too much food again. We got it. Check in with the self-serve kiosk. Okay, I'm, I'm glad we did it over here before running back. Are we getting a reward? Check volunteer status. Hey! Ten more coins. I must complete one more experiment for the responders to become a full volunteer. Next up is finding Dalbert Winters. Winters Delbert. Look for him at his home. Um, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do the camp first. Because I want to shoot things. Oh, you know what? We also have a whole bunch of uh, plans. A chemistry workbench, some knuckles... Volta cardboard standees and a water pump. That's good. Alright, we leveled up. Let's level up. Ah, there it is. I have unopened perk packs. Would I like to open them? Yes. We'll open all six of them, I guess. Um, okay, they're all open. How do we do... What do I do here? Am I selecting... One thing to put per... I'm not sure how this works anymore. I think since I leveled up, I can choose one more card to, to put into the deck. Could be the 100 wood I'm carrying. Um, could be that. Yeah. I mean, I do, every time I go back to camp, I drop all of the... All of the junk. But it, it adds up quickly. Action points generate faster. We already own that, so that would be upgraded. Falling below 20% 20, 20 health will automatically use a stim pack. That's pretty good. Sprint faster... No. Running speed is faster when I have a pistol equipped. Pistols do more damage. I think that's gonna have to be the one. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Non-automatic pistols. We'll upgrade that. 
to 15 percent. Lots of new ones. Um, can we add more? No, not enough available points to equip a card. Oh, now I remember. Now I remember. So we got a strength of three, which means in total we can have three stars in the strength tree. Does that mean... Oh shoot, we actually got a fully upgraded Gunslinger. So we didn't need to take that. What we could do is maybe become a better sneaker. What is the Renegade? More hipfire accuracy, mm-hmm. I think I'll go for the sneaking. Food and drink weights reduced by 30% is also not bad though. If this was New Vegas, you would say put everything in luck. Luck is good. We'll start with the sneaking for now. Um, okay, there's my base. Let me drop a few things. Wait to see who the sign draws in. Okay. I hope they come from the location of the town. Yeah, something is moving there. A treasure hunter. I'm kind of glad we got the two turrets. I think they, they might be helpful. You here? Sure. Train is absolutely here. Whoa. You're not Crane. The hell's going on here? Um, you know Crane? He tell you anything about this treasure he found? Crane found the treasure? Holy shit. Where is he? Wait, are we supposed to send people to the Wayward? Wasn't the idea that people should... They, they shouldn't go there anymore, the gang. I'll take the first one, though. Last place he was spotted was the bar down the hill from Vault 76, the Wayward. Uh, Wayward, huh? Might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. Like it's, it sounds like... I feel like... So, like, option one is usually what you're supposed to go for, no? That's, like, the good option. Sounds like it, anyway. Uh, we could put on a robot leg. It's a little heavier. But it's got better protection. And better stealth while moving. Oh, that's from the muffled thing. Free radicals. Learn the location of the ganger's hideout. Yep, let's try to do that. Ukraine? Do you so, know? rumor is you got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. I feel like he's lying, guys. <laughs> let's go with the luck. I bet your name is... Davy? Davy, you said you were going to help me kill this one, right? Excuse me? How does this jerk know your name? You're working together. What? No! Can't you see they're full of... Beautiful. Well, 
don't lose your head over this. You may not be a gang member, but yeah, you were supposed to keep people from bothering the wayward. Yep. Bring me Crane. Last spotted at the wayward. Uh, first person to get him to give up the location of the treasure gets a share of the overall take. Alright. That was easy. We do need to report back to Duchess. Let me quickly go through my equipment here. Um, is this all... This is just for looks, right? The peril. Damn it. Oh, do they respawn? I think I chose a bad place for my... <laughs> for my uh, base over here. Why don't we build another... Uh... Another turret that points up in this direction. Because I'm not going to want to deal with that again and again. We'll go to turrets and traps. And just put another one here. Hopefully that's good enough. Alright, so we're still walking around in this party hat. I don't think I want that. Let's put on a army helmet. We could put on a gas masks. Prevents damage and disease from airborne hazards. That actually sounds very helpful. And then... Do we want a police officer uh, uniform? It's much lighter than the jumpsuit. Wait, the jumpsuit... You can wear both? I think I'm gonna take the jumpsuit off. I don't think it does anything for us. Uh, no. We'll go in the responders paramedic jumpsuit for now. And I'll drop a bunch of things. Like, um, the glasses, the helmet, the cap. Yeah, we can store 1200 weight in here. I guess that's a little bit of stuff. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make repair kits. Scrap that. Scrap that. And that. Oh, and didn't I also want to drop a bunch of the food? No, you know what? We're gonna sell that when we go back to the other place again. Spoiled meat and veggies. It's probably something we can just drop, though. I hope. R to drop. Cool. Yeah, let's continue with that quest. Why is it so bright? I gotta say, up to now, there's there's less shooting going on than I expected. I was expecting to shoot a whole bunch more. Take the purified water. Definitely take the caps and the ammo. Yeah, you know, these responders, it doesn't seem like they were very successful with their whole mission to save America. They're very dead. Look, this guy even has a weird fungus growing on his ceiling. Who lives like that? Ooh, toilet paper. 
definitely take that. I've seen what COVID can do. Um, survivor stories, I'm right away. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Lent my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin. Hopefully you guys stay. Open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most, it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake, that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how. Why? I fought you wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind a dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. Seemed obvious. We tried, but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then in there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. Till then, let's share a home cooked meal together, all right? All right. Um, so we, we completed the next quest while that guy was talking. We just needed to collect some meat and cook it up. Uh, we can complete that training. And now we are a volunteer. Looks like we're not getting any money this time, which is a little sad. Um, but we can contact the responders using the database. Where would that be? Currently over back in the church. We can log in as a volunteer. Okay, there is some money. We learn about some places on the map. And we're supposed to investigate Morgantown Airport. I think we'll quickly return to Duchess first. Where's the airport? Talk to the overseer. Is she there? Okay, we have to go up that way anyway. Uh, we'll talk to Duchess, then we'll have the bio break, and I think after that we'll travel on to the airport. Hi there. Look how much stuff we got there again. It just doesn't stop. All right, on we go. So when you're not too far away from your base, you can fast travel there for free, I think. Yeah, I think once you're far further away, you have to pay for it. But if you're relatively close, I think it's for free. Hey, Red Stack. And I don't think it's worth it to... Did you just fall from the ground? Uh, I don't think it's really worth it to loot each and every single building. Uh, because you're gonna be... Very, very quickly you're gonna be overloaded anyway. Maybe we can sell some of the additional food to Duchess? Oh, it's someone else's camp. They also have the, the crane sign up. I think we can take the crane si sign down now. Don't think that's needed anymore. Hey, Brotherhood. Add Victorian, brother.
almost there. At the wayward. Oh. Oh, they brought Bessie out. Can you imagine having to fight something like that? I would be so terrified. <laughs> hey the white man, welcome on in. We're playing some Fallout 76 today, because I haven't played it in a really, really long time. Um, but we're just working through like the the beginning of the game. Hey Duchess. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Did I actually? I mean, apparently we did, but I feel like we just killed them. Uh, I did. Sounds like they're headquartered at West Virginia Lumber Company. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to. Wait, wait West Virginia Lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Uh, I gotta feel like walking in and just shooting. We haven't done that much yet. We'll talk about this later. My cheeks. If you change your mind, I'll be here. Have you seen the Fallout show? Didn't think you had Prime. I do not have Prime. No. Um, I've seen the first two episodes with a friend, but that that's all I've seen up to now. Did you freshly watch the series, or is it because someone mentioned last week? Uh, I, I've seen a lot of people were playing this game again, and I was wondering if there's a lot that has changed. So I wanted to to check it out too. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Fallout show has also made me a little... Like, I don't know, I was just thinking about Fallout more again, you know? Redeem, eat the bean, not a thing, Arbiter. Not a thing, but good timing, the two of you there. Um... Right, but before we do any of that, um, we are going to go ahead and take our little bio break, which means I'll be gone for about five minutes. Uh, I'm just quickly checking if there's anything worth looting up here. I'm not seeing anything up to now. All right, in that case, we're going to quickly go take a bio break and then... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to forget trading with her if I don't do it. Let's quickly sell, like, a whole bunch of the food and drink that we are carrying. Um, we'll keep a little bit of the stuff that we cooked. Hmm. Some yummy intestines. We can keep the mute fruit. Choose. Get rid of that. Maybe I should drop some of the water. I am carrying a lot of water. Keep some of the soup. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Cool. You don't know much about Fallout lore, so we're gonna ask some questions. Uh, feel free to ask. I, I played three New Bakers and four, so I'm, I should know some, but I, I haven't... Like, like I said, I've, I've only seen the first two episodes of the show. So I would prefer no spoilers in that regard. Um, yeah, I'm just quickly stepping out of the house. Then we'll go to the main menu and take our break. Um, 
quit. Yeah, quit the main menu. Guys, I'll quickly be gone for a break, so I'll be back in five minutes, and then we'll continue streaming for about two hours. So see you in five, and enjoy your break.
and welcome back everyone. Uh, Agent Zeb, welcome on in. Doing great, Agent Zeb. How about yourself? I am... kind of excited to be playing this one here again. I, I played, so I didn't know that. I didn't know that, but apparently I had played Fallout 76 over 100 hours total, which surprised me because I thought I had barely touched it. I do not have a lot of memory of this game, um, but I wanted to kind of dive into it a little again. So we're taking another look today. Still a little sick? Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Thank you for the welcome back. Uh, we could... Oh, we have to talk to Mort. I thought we can just go in guns blazing. Alright. I need to pay more, more attention to stuff like that. So we're going in again. We're talking to Mort. We have to uh, decide what approach you, we want to take here. Anything else you wanted to know about this family and this scrapper? Tell me about the family, I guess. You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. And the scrapper? We found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But listen, I couldn't get him this bill, Hal. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Could be. Alright, I think I got that's everything I need. Thing, Cause that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, alright? You're doing us a big one here. That's a lot of optional quests. You were curious about ghouls? I know they're immune to radiation, but I wasn't sure what other abilities, abilities or weaknesses they had. Um, well, they kind of live forever, as far as we know, unless they get killed. Um, like, they don't really age anymore, aside from, you know, kind of being a walking corpse. Um, so that's a plus thing. Like, there are a few ghouls around that lived during the Great War. Um, but they have that thing where they can go feral, which means their, their mind is just kind of deteriorating so far that they become animal-like. Um... You know, not really reasonable, just attacking everything they see uh, and try to eat whatever they come across. So, it's not necessarily, not necessarily a positive thing to be a ghoul. Uh, they can lose a lot of hair, I think, if I remember right. Aside from that... I don't know if there is any special advantages or disadvantages to being a ghoul. There are, like, in the games, there are a number of places where they are just not welcome. They're not allowed to be there. Um, so there's definitely a bunch of discrimination going on against them. It's usually like, you know, richer areas. They're not allowed to go there because they're not pretty enough. I think it was in Fallout... I want to say it was in Fallout 3. Where they... They created their own settlement in what was the name? Some kind of museum in the ruins of DC. We're making good progress. Need to let Paige know. Don't like the fog. 
Even just a mist makes oh, it hard nice. to see. Hey, bobby pins. And some duct tape. Love it. Remember that as well? There are ghouls from before the now bombs. Yeah. Um, we'll is there a low reason what causes we'll them to go feral? I don't think so. Not to the best of my knowledge. It just seems to happen to every ghoul sooner or later. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. Looks like it might rain later. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sore all over. <laughs> Alarm clocks oh. often have some nuclear material in them, in them. and we needed that. There's so many settlers. Holy shit. Even just a mist Buddy, I'm just trying to get down here. Black cowboy hat. Beautiful. Alright, so what is the closest one? Question the family. Then this is speaking with the other guy, and they live up here. I feel like... I mean, we don't have to talk with these people, but it's kind of along the way, so I guess we will. I think we can just kill the gang. Confirm what you thought. Cool. Yeah, I was I was always kind of uh, hoping that we would get a a more free form um, Fallout. Where we can choose what our character is, you know, a ghoul, a synth, a normal human, maybe even something like a, a you know, an android or a robot. I think that would be fun. Uh, who, who, who am I trying to talk to here? Someone upstairs. Plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. Heard you might have had dealings with a gang up at the lumber West camp. Virginia Lu no, don't know anything about them. Now I'd like you to leave. <coughs> uh, let's do charisma. We're all friends here. Just tell me what you know, and I'll get you, get them no, out of go. your hair. Fine. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you need to know to leave? Tell me about the deal. Once a month, food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. That's pretty good. How many people Plenty. in the gang? A dozen, minimum. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the guys. You can start giving those supplies to me instead. You... You do that. Maybe I can see having a little something set aside for you. One time, though. Sounds good. Uh, no and other by questions. By all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. Mr. Handy takes on the wasteland. Exactly. Um. Yeah. Bye. We're, we're leaving. Yeah, just just play as a Mr. Handy. Equipped with your trusty buzz saw and a flamethrower. It's really not much more that you need, right? Just take those two things. Take on everything. What is that? Fire cap. Alright. Um, in Fallout New Vegas, there was that robot. Edie? I think Edie was quite adorable for being a, a Mr. Handy. I liked Edie. Oh, are they shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Oh, there's a dog. Take out the dog. Yeah. 
I, I did use that for this one. Oh, there's a raider. And I failed to kill him. Are they idiots? Did you just kill yourself? Wait, do they not deal damage to themselves when they blow up shed on themselves? How are they dealing damage to me? Through the walls. Walls. I'm a bit surprised there. Let's go use the stem pack. There we go. I think they should all be dead. No, but honestly, I, I, I think it would be fun if you if you get to choose what kind of character you want to play. It would add to that whole role-playing thing, you know? But, of course, it makes it harder to tell the story. Like, you know, if you're, for example, in Fallout 3, right? Or in Fallout 4, you're, you're searching for your lost son, right? So, that doesn't work if you're a robot. So, you would have to be, as the developers, very careful about the choices you allow the players to make. We are very close to being overloaded, by the way. Because I always have to take everything and I can never leave anything behind. Why are there so many safes? And I'm too bad to open any of them. I can try this one. I did get a sniper rifle, yeah. I don't know if it's any good, but we can check it out. Wow, it's empty. I cracked the safe, only to find it empty. Some money. Looks like that's kind of it. Anything else in here? Gonna say no? Let's see if we want to drop any of the weapons we just looted. Binoculars apparently are weapons. Um, oh, that does look pretty nice. It's a level 20 sniper rifle. Let's drop this one. Drop the... I'll drop the pipe pistol too. Shotgun... Where's the weight? Oh, you have to scroll down. That is so weird. 3.45. 7.2, yeah, that's pretty heavy. And we don't have super many shells. I'm gonna... Drop the shotgun and the this one too. Still carrying too much, but well, not too much. Still carrying a lot, but not too much. Let's take a look at that sniper rifle. Ooh, that's a good zoom. I like that zoom. I think this will still be our standard weapon, especially because we're skilled or specced into pistols. But it's nice to have a, a rifle. Actually, can I quickly... Gotta go ahead and un... favorite that. Yeah, then this is a little closer. No, it isn't. Um, weapons... Like that. Is it on three now? Yeah, now it's on three. I 
I see a loot bag over there. Kind of wondering if there's going to be a lot of enemies here. Only one way to find out. Tile County Fairgrounds. Someone say Alpha Wolf? What is that weapon? That was not a switchblade. Excuse me. A switchblade looks different. We actually got really good hip firing accuracy. Oh, hey there. Is that a giddy up buttercup? Give me that. Military grade circuitry board? Wow, man. They've got some good things up here that I probably can't carry, but I want it. There's a Scorch down there. Didn't see that. Where was the other loot thing that I saw? Maybe it was over there? I'm not sure anymore. With L with an appropriate clip, exactly. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna do the main quest and move on. Get the hell out of here. Oh, not one of those creeps. Well, you here to rob me? With jokes on you, don't got nothing. Uh, should we? Let's just force him into giving us some supplies. I'm sure you'll find something. Hand over whatever you've got. I can't carry it, but I want it. Hey, <laughs> good. You serious? Well, fine. Here. No, I actually got nothing. So you can leave me in peace. We gain another military grade circuitry board, some vodka, fusion cells, and some money. Uh, oh, weird. I'm here to rob you. Hand over whatever you've got. We could just do that again. Hey, uh, I already gave you everything I got, all right? Just leave me alone. All right, all right. Uh, I heard you were bragging about being able to run everyone out of West Virginia lumber. How? Oh. Ah, you talked to the burn victim. <laughs> yeah, I got a trick up my sleeve, but I'm not giving it away for free. Could kill them all if I wanted. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. How about a bottle of vodka? Ah, if we were stronger, we could force him into giving it us, giving it to us for free. Um, what do you want? Island nearby's got a big nest in it. Bring me an egg. I'll give you what I got. Uh, what kind of egg? Something nasty enough that I don't want to do it. Up to you, though. Fine, we'll do it. Mind the locals out there. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I am once again carrying too much. I just... Okay, let's drop the binoculars. I feel like we don't need those. Drop the throwing knife. I'm not going to use that. Um, we have a lot of grenades that we probably... We don't need to carry all of them around. I should drop some of them next time. Um, drop the dirty water. You know what? We could eat some grilled rat stack for 20 additional carry capacity. That solves the problem short term, but I, I can't loot anymore, which makes me very sad. 
Okay, yeah, that is the island we need to get to. Claim the workshop at Tyler County Dirt Track. Right, I forgot that you can also claim additional workshops on the map. These ones are special things, um, like at Tyler County. So, these workshops, they allow you to set up a, a base and extract special resources, like junk, aluminum, fertilizers, silver, and steel. The thing is, um, you can claim them, but so can other people. And if I remember right, like other people can attack them and try to take them away from you. Hey Danger, happy Monday everyone, happy Monday to you too. Danger, have you played Fallout 76? Can you just plop down your camp here and drop the stuff off? Um, I think so. I think there's a... I think there's a cost to moving it. Yeah, 17 caps. We could do that though. 17 caps is not super expensive. Tell you what, we'll do this and then probably put the camp closer to the fairgrounds. Because there's a lot of loot to be had there. And I'm not going to spoil it, but I do remember what lives on this island. And I do hope that we can get to the thing without getting caught. Maybe I should sneak. Mm. Wait. Do death claws? Bury in Fallout 76? No, right? Rognak the Barbarian will take that. And there's an egg. And I don't see it. It is a, apparently a Deathclaw Island. I thought it was patrolling around. But I don't see it moving. Never tried it? You've played everything except 4 and 76? You have 4, just never had the time to play it. I really liked 4. I think 4 was a really nice game. Definitely worth trying. Alright, so we're not running into a Deathclaw, I'm good with that. Let's go back and hand in that quest. And plop down the camp. That's a good idea, Cut. And like I said, I'll I'll place it as close as I can to the fairgrounds themselves. I feel like we don't have enough AP. Always out. I just like running more. Not a very patient person. If we try moving the camp, we'll need to find a place that doesn't overlap with both of these places. It makes the placement a little awkward. I don't want to go in the water. Um, maybe somewhere over here? Oh, 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 what? There's a Scorched coming after me. Here, okay, this one works. And does it not... I thought I... I thought it automatically placed everything. Maybe what we have to do is go to Stored. Yeah, and then we can just place it ourselves. This thing is gigantic. Does it have to be so big? Oh. There was a place...
This is such an awkward placement, but we're gonna put it there. Kind of over the street. Uh, put that down. We got the cooking place. We'll put a turret on either side. Maybe two in this side. And this one can be scrapped. Hello? What about the things inside? Oh, the things inside do stick around. That's nice. So what we can do is uh, stash everything in here. See if you want to scrap anything. I don't think so. Nope. And then... Store... We have to read that. The Barbarian comic. Oh, that's a usable. So that's probably only going to last for like a little bit. Eat the egg? No, we're going to hand that in for the quest. Alright, let me quickly think. We are going to drop the Molotov cocktails because I got frag grenades. I'll also drop the plasma grenades. Uh, and the cryos. I, I don't tend to use those. No armor, no apparel. Lots of water and stuff that we don't need to carry around. Let's also drop most of the... Hello? Most of that. Oh, veggies are spoiling. That's very sad. Um, I'll drop most of the antibiotics. The bottle head. Most of the drugs. Oops. Uh, now let's carry around like half of that. Yeah, you know what? They they are pretty light. I don't think we need to drop all of those. Let's drop a bunch of the red away. And I'll also drop a whole uh, drop a whole bunch of these stim packs. That should help cut down on weight. Sounds like someone found our turret. I'll drop the arrows as well, the fusion core, the fusion cells, it's all stuff that we don't use. And you know what? Maybe half of the 44 ammo too. There we go, down to 66. Are you supposed to carry the bobblehead? No, sadly in 76 they made bobbleheads a consumable. Um. So it's an item that you use and then it, it gives you a temporary bonus and it disappears. I find that very boring. I preferred it from the single player games where you found them and then they give you a permanent bonus. Um, I would rather have a permanent bonus that's small than a temporary one that's big. Oops. Oh, there's some medical stuff, maybe? Yep. Alright, Libovitz, we came back with the egg. My egg. Yep, here well, you go. Hello, that is a beauty. When you're hatched, you're gonna call me Papa. Here, those are my end of the bargain. Make the most of them. It's really quiet. This guy. So what did I just get from him? I, I feel like I didn't get a level up, uh, uh, a pop-up about what he gave us. Did he give us frags? Maybe? I'm not sure, but let's go kill, let's go kill a gang leader, shall we? Agree? Yeah, it just, it doesn't feel nice. 
if you have like yeah t temporary buffs they just don't feel as worth it Yeah, I don't actually want to loot every single thing here, so let's just go kill. Maybe a few things. A cute little bear. What are you? What were they doing in here? Spooky time, Mr. Fuzzy. These things, by the way, they're good for plastic. Blast Radius board game. They give... Um, They give nuclear material, which can be pretty rare. I'll drop my chunk in here and then we'll go kill. Event failed. Yeah, I wasn't even trying to do that. So, we did learn that if we talk about the blue Dan Danube, we will most likely gain, gain access to, to their hideout. But that is if we want to go the talking route. I think we can also just, just shoot at everything. If it moves, we kill it. It also gives a lot of experience, which I like. Not a lot of... ...population over here. Nothing moving. Look at that professionally built bridge over here. Love it. Wonder if you can sit on a ridge and snipe the leader before going in. Maybe we do have the... Um... Sniper rifle. Only 38 bullets, but... I guess their leader shouldn't be taking more than 38 bullets. I think there is a limit to the rendering distance. Right arm bones. I don't think that came from the dog. Looks like we did find the location. I see one guy there. They're currently not marked as hostile. Doesn't mean we can't make them hostile, of course. Oh. I see a dead person on the ground. Maybe we're not the first ones to come over here and think it might be easier to just kill them. What are you? Fireflies. Did we get all of them? Nope. Stop right there, criminal scum. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we, we don't see any of the gang members there. There's a turret. There's someone back there. 
I'm not getting a name tag. Screw it. I don't feel like talking. Turret is gone. Turrets can be quite deadly. Oh, looks like we might need to press that button there. Do we think we can snipe that guy sitting on a chair? Also, what is this? Oh, Bethesda. Oh wait, that looks like a throne. That's a free radical. That was a free radical. No one is sitting on the throne. If anyone set the throne, I would assume that's their leader. Wait, are those? Those are super mutant bodies. So they did kill the super mutants. Yeah, I don't see any others from this angle, so I think we'll just have to go in. And I, I don't know if they are... If they are hostile yet, because I shot two of their things. We could push a button here, but I don't think I want to do that, because the door is already open. Nice. Gotta love exploding heads, no? I think someone is aware that we are here. Maybe they don't spawn the leader until you go in, that's possible. I'm a little sad that I don't have a silencer for my pistol. But I, I guess the, the rifle also doesn't have a silencer. The interesting thing is... So we shot a bunch of them, right? But when I was mousing over the last one, it still didn't show them to be hostile. So maybe they... Oh no, they're, they're hostile now. I was just thinking, maybe they haven't noticed yet that I'm in here. But it seems like that was wishful thinking. I hope that the leader is actually in here and that we're not forced into pressing that button. That would suck. Hello there. What is a handmade? Oh, some kind of automatic rifle. Uh, I'll take that with me, just because I can. Any other equipment we want to have? Take the stem packs. Also, there's a back door. Now we have another way to escape if we need it. Is one of the guys we killed. Doesn't have much. I think I'm gonna try to get to the to that throne. So I uh, finally found a supercharger for Roper's limo. Sent dog breath and his crew over to Gorge Junkyard. They hit the jackpot. Uh, they even found uh, an engine hoist. Big block double dump head and uh, pistons. The head gaskets are blown, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'll know more when I start ripping it apart. I'm also going to take a shot at modifying the exhaust and suspension. Big rig. I'm having 
spikes welded to the sides. That should save bullets when dealing with the ghouls. I just finished up mounting a harpoon gun on the hood. Can't wait to own some settlers with that thing. <laughs> the radicals will rain hell on this earth once these vehicles hit the road. It's going too well. Uh, that might change. It might change. Did we get a, a good weapon there? The baseball bat is, I would say, better than our hatchet. But it is slow, so hard to say whether it's better. Um, we have barely any ammo for the handmade. Got some ammo for the combat shotgun. I'm gonna go ahead and favorite that, just in case. And is that... We're pointed over there now, so we're gonna try to get to that building. Ideally without getting found out. I do want to get to the uh, the dead person on the roof. Because I like my loot, you know. I already spent the bullet to kill them. Might as well take whatever they had on their person. Got some nice ammo in there. Not seeing anyone here. Oh, a heavy leather chest piece. Also, apparently there's multiple people close by that we can all loot from here. So we'll do that. So there is a, you know, heavy leather, right? It is quite heavy, but it offers a lot more protection. And I'm wondering if I should if I should take that. Right now we have the carrying capacity available. Four. Go ahead and put it on. It's seven more physical protection and 20 more energy weapon protection stealing their cigar activate flamethrowers that's cool it's so useless but i like it What a waste. I guess they got their priorities right. Making sure that the perimeter is safe. We don't know. We don't need that. But hey. Attaching four flamethrowers to my throne? Please use all of our resources on that. That's important. No! Broke a bobby pin. They don't even have any loot. Sad. Oh, look at that. There's another dead person. And yeah, we're going up there. To kill the gang leader. More shotgun shells, that's always good. That guy scared me for a second here. <laughs> Let's take the garden gnome. It's mine now. Uh, supply requisition, what does that do? US... The use the US government supply requisition holotape at a radio tower. All right. 
Do we get an airdrop with resources if we do that? I wouldn't mind that. Stimpack on the table? Thank you. You guys have much sharper eyes than I do. Damn it. I was just quickly uh, checking if I was still sneaking. And as I got up, they immediately, they immediately like, intruder. Don't worry about it. Must have been the wind. Take the combat knife and the lighter. I want that loot. Nice timing, yep. Alright, where's the entrance to this place? Apparently not up here. Got a lockpicking bobblehead. When used, gain a 30% wider sweet spot. For a little bit of time. Alright, so we're gonna have to go down... I'm wondering, if I jump on this balcony, maybe we can enter from this side? Nope, board it up. They do not want to give you an easy entrance, do they? Yeah. What the? I'm not here, just ignore me. Okay, we are hidden again, but it sounded like there's someone down there. Are you a person? You are. Make sure that they cannot um, join this fight and make trouble for us. Oh. Looks like we're going through a loading screen. Still hidden. We don't see anyone right now. we go up or down? Um, down for killing the person. Which makes me think I want to go up. Right? If the game is sending us down, we go up. See you. Beautiful. Alright, that was everyone on this side. And I think the only other ones who might have heard us are further down. Ooh, metal. Uh, might be further down in the building. So I feel relatively safe doing a little bit of looting here. All of these cigarettes. Alright. Check the other side. Take the blowtorch. Duct tape is always a good thing. Some more stem pack over there. Antifreeze. Ammo. Wonder glue. Hell yeah. A laser rifle? I think that's the first energy weapon that we've run into. And that should have been everything up here. Let's go downstairs and kill the leader. Who probably is not going to be all by himself. That would surprise me. Mm. 
no one we can snipe from here. Must have been the wind. Shit. No. I'm a bad shot, and I I should feel bad. Can you use any of the workbenches to break down stuff for weight management? Probably. Probably yes. We're hidden again. That one more time. Good. That one is gone. And I don't see anyone else. Yeah, but right now I think... Oh, actually we're at 180 out of 180. Uh, good thinking. Let's check that out when I'm done looting this room. I did not think we were so close to being overloaded again. Lots of stim packs. Some money. Gold plated lighter. A whole pack of duct, duct tapes. That's good. Take the office desk fan as well. And yeah, let's see if we can break down some stuff. So at the chemistry station. I think you can scrap all of the junk. Oh yeah, look at that. That that saved like 41, I wanna say. 41 kg. So that was pretty good. I'll scrap the baseball bat. Mm. The regular handmade, because we got the scoped one. Do we want to wear this? No, it's only... Wait, actually, the, the regular metal piece is lighter than the heavy leather. Oh, it, it barely has any energy resistance, though. Yeah, let's just scrap it. That brings us down to 130. I think I'm happy with that. Thank you for using a brain when I don't cut. Appreciate that. heard from Batter. Suspect he finally managed to get himself killed. <laughs> Batter was a long shot anyway. I always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. Interesting that the gang leader is hanging out in some kind of cave? Doesn't sound like a very clever thing to do. <laughs> okay, it, it shows once again, if you play Bethesda games, if you just go for stealth, you're gonna win the game. Just just put everything in stealth. Go slow, go easy, shoot at things from far away, and you win. Uh, that's where you pay me the big bucks. Wait, what? <laughs> yep. Big appreciation, you know? What do we have here? An automatic handmade. Guess I'll take that. And a metal left arm. That might be worth considering. So... Regular left arm is 5 and 9. This is 12 and 2. So metal has a much better protection against physical attacks, but not as much as against energy, which makes sense. I 
I guess I'll switch. Mm. Does that make sense? No, I think I'll not do the... I don't think I'll do metal. you give me a reason. Do you have a place to go? No, no. Do you want one? What would you need me to do? Go upstairs. Have a meal and a drink. Share what you know. Maybe it'll jog some memories. From there, we can talk. And if I wanted to leave? We're all free men and women here. A little family. Take care of our own. The rest of the world, be damned. Oh, we left the message. Leave the wayward alone. Um, we looted this place up. I think we're good to go. Why is this one still saying level one? By the way, that one doesn't seem to update properly. Right, next order of business apparently is once again talking to Duchess. Uh, can we just... can fast travel there, but that would cost money. There are places where we can fast travel for free. Is Vault 76? Yeah, Vault 76 is one of the places you can always fast travel to for free. So I think we'll go there and then just walk over. Or maybe we're even close enough to the Wayward now to travel there for free too. Because it's always um, distance based. Five caps. Let's just run over. No, you know, I, I really don't feel like being so stingy. Yeah, let, let's just travel over. Hey, I saved a cap by making a bunch of steps. Aren't I great? Do that enough times and you're gonna be super rich. Um, before I forget, I'll quickly run up here and drop the raw material in the stash. Good, we're still carrying a lot of things. I'm actually wondering about, you know, dropping some of these weapons that we just found. Yeah, let's go with that. Um. Can I not scrap the heavy leather chest, uh, the regular leather chest piece? Maybe I can sell it. Thrifty, right? Uh, the Observer, hey there. Curious what kind of build you plan to do with this new character. So, I'm not a... I'm not very experienced in the game. I don't actually know much. Uh, so, I don't know, you know, any super efficient builds. Uh, right now... 
Right now I'm just going for the pistol thing, because I think playing with pistols is fun. So pistol and kind of stealth. That's that's all I know up to now. Um I I have I'm like I haven't planned it, right? I'm just playing and see what comes along and we pick up what we get. Plan ahead, what's that? Yeah, that's it's not really my play style, planning. You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? Oh yes. Uh gave them the message, they're not going to be bothering you anymore. Well, that's good to hear. Though, judging by that look in your eye, I have exactly zero follow-up questions on the method of your negotiations. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track him down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Alright, where do I need to look? Oh uh, yeah, I'll find your Music people. Music to my ears. Missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. Why does she have a tracker? Is she a dog? I'll find out what happened to your people, yeah? Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones. Cool. Um, that's a goal. I recommend going for the alien blasters. They're one of the best in the category. Mm, I don't remember a place to get them, but if we find them, I'll be interested in trying them for sure. Um, I did want to quickly trade with you, because we got a bunch of stuff that I don't want to keep carrying around. Like the leather chest piece. Um, I'll sell some of this alcohol stuff again. And like random random food that we're unlikely to use. Sell that one too. Uh, I'll keep the juice. And the soup. I keep a, bit of, a little bit of food. Uh, we've got plenty of aid. Sell the propaganda flyer, sure. And I think nothing else that we need. Cool. Why am I carrying so much then? Up to 82. Not sure. Anyway, we got multiple quests open. We can either try to search the Overseer. We can go for the airport. Or look for those missing people. And I actually think looking for the missing people sounds the most fun. Don't care about the overseer. She left me in the vault all by myself. So yeah, we'll go with this one. Nope. This one. Transmitter signal. Do I have a lot of ammo on me? I think so. That might be the reason. I mean, but most of them are pretty... pretty light. Do you see stack weight below 1? For anything but the 44? Yeah. But anyway, it, it's fine. I'll just have to leave some junk behind. Cryomag mod lets you hit for damage type that most enemies have no resistance for. As for the weapon itself, you get an okay one from an ally quest. One in a safe and toxic valley. Alright. That sounds like it's probably quite a bit away, right? Not exactly something we're about to unlock. Locum's Joe. 
Very good. I'm not gonna go through it now. I wanna continue doing that quest. Let's try to find so those missing people. Uh, lots of dead here. Scorch Corps, the Golly Mine Production Log. Whilst this hall is miserable, usable ores slip below the break-even point. We're dried up. Maybe it's time we reached out to the Hornwrights, see if some of their machines couldn't kickstart things. Alright. So that's where we gotta go then? Yep. Going to a mine. Man, it's been a long time since I've done any of this stuff. It's nice to get back into it. I'm, I'm glad I'm, I chose to play this today. Uh, definitely take the glue. I feel like there's gonna be more of them. Gamma G, welcome on in. How are you today? Are they upstairs? I think they must be up there. Ah. I'm definitely not the greatest shot in the land. I'm starting to understand that. You know, that is something I'm always impressed by from uh, when I'm watching Guns, Notes, and Steel play Seven Days to Die. I feel like he's always got really, really good accuracy. Let me quickly scrap my um, junk. That is not what I wanted. Scrap items. There we go. You were good earlier today, but now your stomach isn't too happy. Uh-oh. Did you have... Um... Taco Bell? How do you get a sofa here? That sounds adventurous. Okay, but it does look like we explored everything, so let's go into the mine. I don't actually know from what height fall damage starts. We might have had a few close calls. I'll take a shovel, why not? Very good. Let's... I'll take the shotgun too. I'll probably not hold on to it. Oh, I'm actually carrying a combat shotgun. Uh, then I'm gonna drop it. And the shovel too. No, not sure what's causing it. That's a bummer. I do hope that it's a very short time that you'll have to deal with it. Hope it gets better soon. Alright, lots of dead people here. I like seeing that. Makes it easier to loot. Doesn't mean that everyone's dead though. So guns out and keep an eye out for trouble. Lighter. Nice. I think the bone cutter probably also gets scrapped down into nice things. A uh, light bulb sounds good. Too stupid to 
get that safe open. All right. You're in charge, Carl. You're in charge while I'm gone, congratulations. And no, this doesn't mean they're paying you more. Looks good on a resume, though. Supply cage is locked up. Code is on the bulletin board. Double check everything before you close up. Some of these guys forget to put stuff back. Code is on the bulletin board. Do we see something that looks like bulletin board? Take a look. I, I always play, play with mouse and keyboard. I am... I feel crippled. Mmm, yum. A ladle on the toilet. <laughs> with salt and pepper. Um, yeah, I, I feel very crippled when I have to use a controller. I cannot. I cannot. I'm so bad with it. Hey, soap. So up to now, I haven't found a bulletin board. Maybe that's something we find later, or I'm just blind. Let's see what we find. Oh, found a Scorching Wanderer, two of them to be exact. We're actually very close to a level up. Another one? Pitchfork. That sounds like a fun weapon. Beautiful. I did walk by one, did I? Bulletin board. In here? Oh! I am not seeing anything that could be interpreted as a number. But you're right, I did walk by one. Thank you. But apparently this is not the bulletin board you're looking for. I love it when I hit. Feels good. Sensor module. Can probably be scrapped into something nice. Light her up. Okay, gang, the boss wanted me to leave you some instructions. Since you apparently can't run this mine without me holding your hand. We're gonna light this place up today. The holes are drilled, so just get the dynamite packed in and wired up. Make sure everyone's a safe distance this time. Tommy, you do not touch the plungers. Got it? You're the reason we're down two guys this month. Carl, you're in charge. Don't fuck this up. I should probably do my level up, shouldn't I? With us, but it was there, yes. No, I, I do appreciate you pointing it out. Um... Do we put another point into agility? I think I want to go perception because we we don't know how to lockpick well yet, and I'm fairly certain lockpicking is perception. Yep, 
picklock. There's also expert picklock. They're kind of the same. Let's take the basic one. And go ahead and put that into. Good. So we can unlock difficulty one uh, safes and stuff now. Yeah, that went over the head. Again? Nice boss, that guy, right? Everyone would love to work for him. You know what? Playing with pistols is nice. I like it. It's a relatively fast reload. Um, decent damage output. They're very flexible. They feel good to use. Take the coolant. Footlocker. We now have a bigger sweet spot, so it should be easier to, to break into these things. He says as he's breaking a bobby pin. Portable fuel tank. Nothing over here. Should be more enemies hey. though, right? Oh no! Over here. Look, there's a person! A people. You're a people? No, you're a person. Well, let's talk to this fine man. Hey, 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 hey! Tell me you got a stim pack. I'm hurting here. Mm, fine. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Good to know there's still some heart out there. So, uh, you the cavalry then? That just send you to save our tails? Yep. Uh, yeah. What to say? I appreciate it. I'm not the one who needs helping right now. See these uh, scorched things have been herring the bar. Me and my bot sis Polly got the bright idea to track down their nest. Oh, she is a bot. Out. But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. I heard some fighting, but then uh, nothing. I think she's hurt. Look, you've got to find Polly. I can't be the reason she... Look, just find her. Please. I would appreciate if they let me stand up instead of keeping to... keep kneeling in front of his crotch. He thinks he's people. <laughs> hey there, Kiros. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, I'll find your friend. It's fine. Thank you, thank you. Once you've got her, just bring her back to the Wayward. I'll be there. And Will tell do. her, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't be the one to save her. Uh, no, I won't. I'll be the only hero. You don't get to sneak in as a hero. Wanna be hero? See movement down there. Good. Yeah. How dare you? Ah. Guys, I need to practice shooting. How do I do that? I guess it's just by... Just by keeping to shoot, right? Just keep shooting to practice. are all down. I did take a pickaxe from someone already. Don't need another one, I don't think. There was some turpentine. Give me that. Ooh, ooh, our first 
requires skill one trade since we picked up the perk. Beautiful. Try shooting better. That's how it goes. Thank you. Thank you for helping me figure it out. Don't think I could have done it without you. I'm hoping that we're gonna find a um, a workbench somewhere here because we're carrying a lot of scrap that we could break down. Hey, workbench. Yeah, scrap all of the junk. That saves us almost 70 kg. Love it. Um, yeah, I'll scrap the pickaxe too. And what do we have here? Not much. Actually, a mining light, does that have oil in it? No, glass and steel. So we'll continue downwards. Loot these guys. Is that where it continues? Yeah, I think that's where it continues. We'll first... Uh-oh. We haven't found the bulletin board. Oh. This one, maybe? Seriously? 071990. Damn it. 07199 Oh. Yay! I did it. And he freeze is pretty good. Summer Brack, so. What does that button do? Opens and closes the door. 1234 is not the correct code. I am a loot goblin. I can never stop. An ID card reader. Don't have that yet. Don't have the ID card, that is. Uh, we'll probably find one somewhere. It's hard not to be a loot goblin, honestly. Like, if there's loot, how, how can you not take it? Right? That's my reasoning. Uh, okay, there's just a gold vein that we can mine. Not complaining, thank you for the gold. Maybe we'll find the key card somewhere back here. It's 1111. Uh, one. <laughs> Safest password in the world. Okay, C Polly. Do we see anything else? Any danger? Hey! Hey! Someone there? I could use a lift! You could... Oh, you could use a lift. Look at you! You're only ahead! That doesn't look good. What's back here? A door back to Appalachia. Yeah, let's take that head, I guess. You are a sight for sore eye. So, those things didn't get you, huh? Nope. You happen to see a young man on your way through? Early 20s? Rough around the edges? Carrying about a bullet's worth of extra lead in him? Uh, yep, yeah, he's hobbling his way to safety. He's alive? Thank God, that's good to hear. So, what do you say you and I help each other out? You get me back to the wayward. And I'll help you bake to a crisp anything that bothers us on our way out the door. Sure. That's the ticket. Now, let's... You hear that? It sounds like those things have regrouped. How about we make them regret it? Come on, darling. Let's make sure these things never bother the wayward again. Just gonna head on out of there? No, I wanna loot the the rest of this. 
Hello? Oh, I have to load it. Okay. So long. Yeah, why is there so many of them? And why do I keep missing? Taking a lot of damage. God. Yeah, I need to quickly take a stim pack, please. Yeah? Stop right there, criminal scum! Extra crispy now. Oof. Yeah, again. Not the best shooting I've ever done. Better pop a stim, yep. Yeah, that was important. That might have been the last one. A black powder blunderbuss? I'm gonna have to try that. Right? Oh, look at that. Okay, we can loot all of the nearby corpses. That's a nice quality of life feature, I have to say. Um, I appreciate that. Is that what we were finding all of the loose gunpowder for? For reloading... The... Damn it, it's not what I wanted. For reloading the blunderbuss? So, we haven't found that card, have we? Pistol is way better. Yeah, this head is not great. I just accidentally picked up the snap nose. Yes. You just found that? Uh found what? The head? Yes. Yeah, we just we just arrived here. This is why I prefer ballistic weapons over energy weapons. Really good energy weapons have uh delay on them when you pull the trigger right yeah find out you can aoe loot i i've like i've already done it once or twice but i think it hasn't really processed in my head until just now it's very convenient so we haven't found that card, right? Let me just double check that maybe I did accidentally find it, but didn't pay attention to it. But this might also be for a later quest. Yeah, we don't have the correct ID card. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> she doesn't like it when we put her away, though. Wondered if it was a good revolver. Um, so we're carrying a level 20. Um, revolver and the snap nose is a 15 so it should always be worse the condition on this one is going low though we'll have to repair that soon oh, oh right and I wanted to I wanted to try out the blunderbuss we only have one of the 50 cal bullets though I want to shoot something with it I want to shoot something with it. Damn. Ammo finally corroded. Wet Cave really did a number on it. I'm not going to be much help now. Take 
fertilizer. That's just a red stack, though. That's a bit of a waste. Shooting a doe with that. Mine coal? What kind of quest is that? Oh, must be one of the... Yeah, we're not doing that. We'll ignore that. Just realized Longhouse character looks like he should be working in a gas station or a liquor shop. You know what? You, that's a good point. That's a good point. There are gas stations in the game, right? The Red Rockets. I don't think they sell gas, though. Weapons with levels? Back in my day, weapons damage was based on their condition and your perks. Yep. Things change, Gamer Drew. We'll have to accept that. All of us do. Ooh, an enemy protectron. I'm gonna shoot that. Oh. I wanna shoot at that one. I missed. Because I'm good like that. We had one shot, and I messed it up. Sorry, chat. Do something with the gun so you can get more ammo for that gun. I mean, that's usually how it goes, but I, not with the 50 cal. Like the 44 cal, the 10 mil, the 9 mil, no, the 38. They're all very, very common. The 50 cal is much rarer. Blunderbuss is like a shotgun. Hmm. Then why does it load with 50 cal? That doesn't make sense. I imagine like one, one big ball flying at the enemy. He needed to be a lot cl closer. I guess you're right. You get ammo back based on the weapon you kill with. Oh. Screw you all. Wait, what? Ah! There's a lot of them. Oh, lots of ammo though. Both 44 and fusion. A hairless wiener. Yes. Look at that. Four shots, four kills. Not sure in here, but I a blunderbuss is a very early shotgun. Okay. Oh, right, right. We can do the AOE looting. I don't need to go to every body. That's really convenient. I like that. Oh, yes. Machete. I'll take that. I'll take the machete instead of the hatchet. Just, you know, style-wise. It's a much nicer look, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. <sighs> I like it. The musket would be a rifle, minus the rifling equivalent. Hmm. Right, I'll just quickly uh, scrap the junk again, put it in the chest, then we can sell everything else that we don't want to keep. Store all of the junk. I think I'm gonna keep the blunderbuss because I find the thought of it fun. Let's store the baseball grenades and two of the mines and maybe three of that. The hatchet can be sold, so can the knuckles. Store these. Do I want to keep the combat rifle? 
I'll store it for now. All right. Have a wonderful stream. You're going to sleep, but will work. Thank you so much, Ninja Girl. Have a good night. Uh, see you in a few weeks, yeah? Today's my last stream before my parents are coming. Scrap the sassy robot. No, we're gonna have to hand that in. By the way, this guy here, I just want to point that out for those who missed it. There's an assault drone robot called Bessie, and if you talk with it, it moves at you. It's wonderful. This is the best robot I've ever seen. Oh! My game just closed down. Damn it, I wanted to hand in that quest. How dare you! How dare you! Please stand by. Please don't panic. Rip, yep. It thinks it's a cow. What did you expect? I mean, I I'm just, I'm just po uh, pointing out how much I like it. We only really gained two level ups today. Not especially much, but you know that that's what you get for starting at level twenty. I I do think it was a good idea to not start at level one or two. Hey, I made it inside. Hey, Duchess. Oh. Back at long last. Saul is also here. Where's our girl? You're welcome. Yes, Did thank you, you Dunchet. So the interact stuff doesn't always work well. As you might be able to see, I'm trying to press interact. Nothing is happening. Oh, draw polys. Okay, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. Oh, God. Polly? Whoa. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why, why don't you sit her down? Nope. Um, Jug should do the trick. All right. This is real snug. That's not going to do at all. Oh, Polly. This is all my fault. Solomon, no. Don't you dare. This is not... Uh, Duchess, tell me you emptied this out. Did I? You know, I'm 80%. Duchess? It's all right. I, I can fix this. There's a robotics shop over in Somersville that... Oh, oh. oh. Solomon. You're going nowhere. Look, I'm sorry to even ask, but is there any chance you might be able to help us out here? You have I can money? make it worth your while. Find Polly this new body. I'll tell you everything I know about Crane and his treasure. Please say yes. Next time you should stream the first two Fallout games. Um... No. No, I don't want to do that. I played Fallout 1 for a little bit, just to get a feeling, you know, what the old games were like. Um, I have to say I much prefer the modern Fallout style over the... that, like, tactical RPG style. Um, no. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, though. You love the movements in the back? I mean, that guy, the, the Solomon guy, he just looked super drunk. Even though I think he's supposed to be injured. Um, where can I find a new Solomon, body? You had a spot in mind? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's this old robotics dealer over in Somersville. Duncan and Duncan. 
The, uh, the owners boarded it up, but it's possible to get back there if, if you know where to push. Yep. You are a lifesaver. Here, take this. It's a signal beacon. We just plant that on Polly's new frame, and we'll handle it from there. And here, you'll need this to get into the place. Just leave it unlocked so we can come and get the body later. And make sure it's pristine. No damage, no reprogramming. Factory defaults only. I don't want anything going wrong in the transfer. All right. I'm at the risk of sounding like a broken record. Thank you. We'll all owe you big after this. You already owe me big. Uh, but I would like to trade with you. Let's take a look here. Uh, get rid of the hatchet, get rid of the knuckles, get rid of the 44. Um, I guess we'll hold on to all of these. Yeah. We can probably drop some more healing stuff if we want to. But I guess all in all, we're kind of okay. Probably got to get a Mr. Henny body. I would prefer to get her on a Assaultron body. But we'll see. Alright. It is almost 6. And I do need to stop punctually today. Um, let's see if there's something we can maybe complete in a... Relatively... Short time frame. I mean, the Overseer is up there. Morgantown. Where's the... That's the transmitter. I don't know if we can make it there in time. Let's... Let's go after the Overseer, I guess. Take a look at that. And if we if we find things along the way, we just kill them. Anything moves... It dies. We're getting a little thirsty. Get some of that juice, I guess. Hey, I found the road. Wait. Shoot. My weapon is close to breaking. I mean, we do have a repair kit. Is that the only way to repair a gun? Do you have to use repair kits for that? Because I feel even even when we were at our workbench, I think it was asking us to use a repair toolkit, repair kit, whatever they are called. Long plus D and D character sheet list, loot goblin race and murder hobo as a class, <laughs> appropriate. Wooden trade requires a key. Key to Clara's box. Clara's note to mom. Mom, I'm so sorry that my research got you addicted to this swill. I'll get revenge on the bastards in marketing that did this. I swear to you. Love you and I miss you so much, Clara. All right. Made it to a place called Sutton. Music playing. In the other game, there was the jury rig, uh, jury rig ability. Yeah. I don't remember how it's done here. I remember that in New Vegas, you could, like, if you had two of the same type of weapon, you could, like, use one to repair the other. I think that was a pretty cool system. I like that. Welcome. Hey there, Overseer. Or Overseer's home. Did you check the gun? 
in a weapon crafting station. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Wait, is that the overseer? Holy shit, we actually oh, meet her? Thank God you're here. I almost... It's just so good to see you. Let's I don't think we met her last time I played this. Cozy as this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. Thing with armor? Huh. Can you walk faster? Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, it's so good this. to meet you. The Overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. Let's talk? What do you mean? I'm busy, busy looting over here. Leave me alone. Talk. Who do I look like to you? Alright, I think I got everything. Uh... I missed the button press. Did I? Isn't that just closing this door? Oh, in the bench. Right at the bottom of your screen. So... Oh, did I do scrap items? Modify repair. Nothing there. Uh, inspect repair doesn't do anything because you need to have an item here selected. And this just switches to crafting. T, yeah, no, that, that sadly doesn't do it. Um, yeah, th there needs to be an item in that list that you can interact with. Weapon bench only, okay. Uh, so we are talking to the overseer. It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? Uh, what are you talking about? You didn't find my tapes? This disease has turned people into something else. You'll see them. The burned skin, the glowing lesions. There's a vaccine the responders were working on at AVR Medical. You need to finish the research and get inoculated. Hurry back once you're done. We've got plenty to do. Sorry, I don't actually believe in inoculations. Can we just get on with it? Uh, I... No, apparently we cannot talk to Davenport yet. Study someone's research and... Complete an ounce of prevention. Man, there's a lot of stuff to loot in here. Kind of don't have the patience for everything because a lot of it looks like... No, damn it. A lot of it looks like boring, non-useful loot. And I don't want to have to sift through to find the useful ones. I didn't really plan to go outside though. I wanted to see what else is in there. Yeah, let me get, get back in one more time. And also check if there is a workbench where we can scrap things in here. The bathroom. Always take the toilet paper. That's important. Some buff out. Uh, scales are good. Oh. I can crack that. Ooh. Rich things, I like that. 
fancy stuff. Uh, burnt books, I don't think we need that. Yes, give me the panda. Imported Chinese panda. Shit, guys. The overseer is a kami. She openly keeps a Chinese product in her bedroom? I think we gotta kill her. How can she be the overseer if she does something like that? Wooden ski. All right, I'll take it. Found an accordion too. Seems like that was it though. That is all of the loot we're gonna find here. Correct, sleeper agent. What happens if you try to shoot her? I'm assuming nothing. I'm assuming she's a essential NPC. Wooden skis make some of the best weapons later in the game. Oh. So you're saying I shouldn't scrap them. Typewriter. Overseer, do you not have any... Ah, there are some workbenches in here. Also some armor. A girded, lightweight leather right leg. But I got the muffled robot right leg. Yeah, I'm not willing to, to drop that. Chemistry sta station, we can scrap all of the basic stuff. Let's scrap that. Scrap that. Guess I'll... Yeah, scrap that one too. And the five of those. And then a little bit more stuff over here. All right. There is a weapons workbench. Let's see if we can repair the thing, the weapon, without using a thing. So T to inspect or repair. Oh, workbench. Re okay, there's a repair kit on T and workbench repair on R. We can use adhesive spring scrap, aluminum and steel scrap. All right, let's do that. That's wonderful. And I think the rest we can just keep as is. Very nice. The stuffed animal has a camera and microphone. To get you financial info to send to China, maybe. Take the power core. I, I checked. I checked up there, there was no power core in that, sadly. I wanted to take it. But, yeah, there isn't any in there. Sadly, sadly. Take all of the rest of this loot over here. We'll... Scrap it one more time. And store it. I would also like to... Oh, alien blaster rounds. There we go. Uh, I would also like to store the cap and the fatigues. Nice. All right. Guys, Um, I think sadly we'll have to leave it off here. Uh, we didn't actually get very far in the game. Um, but I'm still glad that we took another look. Um, yeah. Started in 76, did a little bit of questing, but I'm running out of time. So, we're gonna leave it off here. I will not remember in three weeks, yes. Oh, the extra mats, yes, thank you. Uh, I will probably not remember many things in three weeks. Uh, half of that, most of that, I don't tend to use it. Um... I also don't really use red X most of the way. Half of that. Whole bunch of stim packs. Cool. Maybe also some ammo that we don't use. Like the 38. Whole bunch of the 44. Um, 45. Fusion cells. 
plasma, shotgun. Nah. I'll keep some of the shotgun because I'm actually carrying a shotgun uh, on me. But yeah, that brings us down to 80. Very good. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my parents being here. All right. So, uh, just to say that one more time, I got three. I got three videos for Medieval Dynasty pre-recorded. So there's gonna be one. Careful, I'm getting big. Um, there's one going online this week on Wednesday. That's the twenty fourth. Then one on the first of May and one of the eighth of May. So every week Wednesday. I don't currently have one for. May 15th, and I don't think I'll have time to shoot another one, but hopefully I'll be back to streaming on May 16th. So, there should be at least a little bit of content every week. Will I still remember you? Absolutely, Danger. I think the only cams I've used are Buffout and Jet. Yeah, I, I don't tend to use um, the drugs much. It doesn't feel right to me. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be gone for three weeks. The expected return date to streaming is um, May 16th. If something changes, I'll post it in the Discord and I'll try to remember to take a bunch of pictures to share with you on the Discord as well. Uh, but yeah, for now, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, have a nice three weeks. I apologize for my absence, but at the same time, I'm just looking forward to the time. Um, yeah, I love you guys. See you next time. Bye!